defense. And here we are. It should be great. And it's a really fun matchup, actually. Lots of fun things to talk about. Would not have predicted to see Spanish here on outcrop from the Viper. And so he's got Spanish. We've got Hart as the Berbers. But again, Hart was a player who qualified. He's a player who had taken a break here or there, even though he had intense talent, came back, has really taken the game seriously. And uh, Viper, Viper's going to understand how big of a threat Hart is here. And I'm excited to be covering this game with you, Hera. Yeah, no, it's, it's truly a pleasure, actually. I think the last time we casted was Massive Arena. So it's been a while, but it's good to be back here as well with you. Uh, Spanish for the Viper. This was his last pick. And it doesn't seem like the most favorable matchup up against the Berbers. Berbers, of course, are the Camel Archers. Feels like that does very well into a lot of things that Spanish can go for. Uh, they've also got cheaper camels, so that's very flexible, very handy here. But, of course, Spanish are a very flexible civ yeah. in their own right as well. Yeah, I think, you know, the... the I say recent. Um, the changes last year that came in where Spanish get a, a bit of a gold spike for each tech they research, that's kind of nice. They, mm -hmm. they honestly have an incredible late game. Um, could always be difficult with the Camel Archers, but I actually think Spanish have one of the best late games. They have Siege Ram, mm -hmm. full trash techs, full Hussars, the strong villagers that are hard to kill. But, you know, when you're talking a map like this these days, it's really two openings because you don't see players going for militia much these days. So yeah. it's going to Feudal Age towards Scouts, or archers and Spanish, one of two civilizations that don't get crossbow. Mm -hmm. So it would be extremely uncommon to see an archer opening. How does that affect you as a player if you don't have one of the top two openings mm -hmm. available? Well, I think it makes you pretty predictable, right? Like Hart is going into this kind of knowing that Viper isn't going to do anything with the range. He's going to probably play towards like a stable, a scout opening. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of gives Hart a lot of like comfort in, in his play, can kind of limit what Viper can go for. Viper could surprise him though and go for a range anyways. Uh, it's kind of yep. like a, some anti-metal play, but it, it does seem like we're going to see like a stable opening from both players as they're just clicking up to Feudal Age right now. Yeah, and I think I think you're just honestly they're just going to be trying to collect all the uh, additional sheep and cows. They have, they've been doing that this whole time. You can see Viper scouting is incredible, so looking for that. And I think uh, right now Hart is pushing in an extra deer or so, but it's interesting. Um, they both scouted the right side, mm -hmm. and so if this becomes a game where they would expand to build town centers, it's likely they, since they have scouting there, they would TC there, so we could see that later on. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. What I love about this map is that there's no like better side to go for, right or left. You kind of just go for it based on your TC spawn, based on what you're feeling, and based on what you scout, and sometimes you see players go to opposite sides, that's a bit more of like a boomy game, but if they go to the same side, it can get really aggressive really fast. Forward castles are on the table, uh, so th this game can really be fire works, you know, in Castle onwards. Yep. So, I mean, Viper likely going to go for the scout build here. And probably should be the same for Hart. Uh, <clears throat> since they'll both have a stable, important to note, Berbers, they do have the cheaper stable units and cheap camels as well. So they have camels as an option to counter the knights. I think Viper might need to look towards some monks in later stages, some pikemen, but we're, we're a ways from that yet. Yeah, Viper's getting some scouting here at the back of Hart's base. Uh, it is up slightly faster. It is, it's worth noting he gets a little bit of like uh, you know extra pressure maybe on the field. Maybe the first spearman comes out earlier. He's already queuing a couple of those, uh, but but nothing too crazy. Hart kind of bringing in a couple more cows, which is nice. I feel like this is a really good map for your first one v one land ever, right? Mm. Like like it's just you you go for your feudal build. There's no water. There's no like potential for messy stuff to happen. Um, this is like kind of a sweet spot for, for both players. And I, I think even if you're experienced on lands, I imagine having like a really easy, like an enclosed game one mm -hmm. is probably like kind of nice. Um, but what, what's your perspective on that? Is there a, like a, a different type of map you prefer to start the series with? I, I mean, I, I can definitely see it both ways. It probably comes down to like the person, but uh, I, th I think this definitely gives Hart time to set up. If there was yeah. any nerves, they're going to disappear over the next 10, 15 minutes. Ooh, Viper actually snagging four cows there. Whoa. That's, that's pretty reasonable. It's 600 free food. Of course, you don't need to make a farm for it. You just have it straight in the cow. And uh, the Spearman aggression from Viper going to annoy Hart a little bit. Let's see how Hart deals with that. Yeah, Viper actually putting a lot of his scouting focus on the sides instead of Hart's base at this point. He went through Hart's base, recognized that he could probably... Do Ooh. Oh, oh, Hart. The cow heist. Oh, Hart, go back for him. <laughs> go back for him. There he goes. And actually, those cows are going to find the other cows, and he's going to double back for Oh, more. my God. This is so huge. The cows have played such an important role here. But actually, the cows... <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that's uncalled for. Yeah, that that's, really... That's crazy. What the hell? The funny thing is, those cows will never make it back. Yeah. Viper's, Viper's got to look for them, mm. right? Surely. <laughs> I mean, by the time they get there, it's like you probably should be farming anyway. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> but it's fun for us because we're like, ooh, a cow. <laughs> yeah, a lot of action around those four cows here. But I think 
you know, the scouts from Hearts, instead of chasing cows, definitely wants to go raid some villagers here. Looking to see what he can find around Viper's base. But Viper, he's known for his quick walls. I don't think two scouts, one of them half injured, are going to find too much here. Yeah, and it's a question of like, like, I feel like you don't want to make more scouts. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, well, I probably should have some level of map control. I hate how he waits to the last second. It's really intimidating. I, I think he does it on purpose. Um, you know, just to kind of like mind game your opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could hit me, but nah, it's a nah level I'm of too good, you know? It's a exactly. level of dominance. But I think the, the one time that doesn't play out, like maybe one out of every hundred, mm -hmm. it could end up being pretty bad if you wait till the last second. It, it, it's happened. I mean... I, I say it all the time. I think Viper's biggest weakness sometimes is that he's just obsessed with quick walling. Sometimes, you know, it, it just burns him a little bit too much here. Look at Viper. Eight vills in Q for a second there. He did un some. It's not a big deal, you know, mm -hmm. but that's something you see all the time. Obviously, you're going to pay attention to that. But just showing there's a lot of focus, of course, on things here. And it does look like Viper's resources are looking pretty good to think about Castle Age. Viper has one scout on the field, so he didn't even produce a scout here. Mm-hmm and uh, is happy to play defense right now. But for now, he can't actually complete that Blacksmith, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, he's going to have to bring a Spearman in there. There's no rush on the Blacksmith. You can get it in 30 seconds, and it's the same story. Uh, Viper actually super confident here. Without making a scout, he's banking on a faster cast stage time, which is a really good move. So it, a little bit risky here, but obviously Viper is the kind of guy to take a little bit of risk early to try to squeeze ahead a little bit. So smart, yeah. smart play from him there. Yeah, because like, at this point, like you, you got to be looking the heart saying, could you have added a range, right? Even even one of the rare times, actually, where you could go, like, scout skirm against a player who might be adding scouts. Yep, yep. Um, because that could help out against some of the spearmen. But at the same time, the other side of that, of course, is Hart needs to farm. Mm -hmm. And so he's invested most of his wood into that. What also, you like, what you see here is, like, neither player wants to commit to a lot of, you know, scouts or early game aggression because they're, you know, kind of used to players walling up. But Viper, because he assumes that everything will be, like, a full wall game, decides to just play open and kind of yep. greet it out a little bit. Yep. If Hart just went for, like, a random two-range switch, yep. he can find massive damage. But yep. it's just not something you think about. Yeah, people, people yeah. won't do that. It's the mind yep. game. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's that tourney element. You're going to have to play safe. It's a ranked game. They might play a little bit more open, a little bit more breezy, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyways, good good build up here from both players. Hart just going to click up here. And Hart will know everything. He'll know the resources set up a Viper. And he'll know it's double stable, which if I'm the Berbers, I'm very happy to see. I, yeah. I have no problems with that. Oh. You want to play Knights into me? Go ahead, because I've got the cheap camels. A couple villagers from Viper, though. Those three villagers are up to no good. And what Viper's is adding scouts. I, is he, he? He's headed up for the TC pretty early. But, but he's going on the side that he didn't scout, and it looked like he was going down the center for a siege workshop or something. Okay. He did actually scout it because yeah, he, he was, scouted he was both sides, going yeah. for those cows, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, it looks like those guys, those are really early for town center. This is very strange play. I wonder if he wanted a siege workshop or a monastery forward and, and decided not he's to. switching his plan now. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very strange. I do like the scout edition from Viper, though. Mm -hmm. The additional scouts can get so much value. And uh, we'll see if Viper chooses to build the TC on that stone because he doesn't actually have a gold scouted. He just has the stone, I think. And, I, you know, if he goes for the stone, that could lead to a castle earlier. Yeah. And, and Kong play is always on the cards, by the way. I know we talk about camel archers countering Kongs, but... I think uh, Kongs are actually insane there, yeah, too, yeah. right? <laughs> it's, it, for the first, like, until Ballistics kicks in and, like, a big mass is on the field, yeah. Kongs are completely fine versus camel archers, arguably better uh, in the lower numbers there. Good pickoff from Viper. Kills one scout, maybe a second one. Heart backs away just in time here. Good play from Hart as well to scout it. It's really interesting. So so you and Viper do this best where it's like, if it turns into this type of game, tiny little details but doing the same thing, typically Viper's going to have the edge, right? Mm -hmm. Typically you're going to be able to get find those like minor differences in the later stages. This is not really the type of game that I would normally look at Hart's skill set, what he can accomplish and say he wants. So I'm hoping for his sake he could, he could find something to pressure Viper with in some way. Yeah, yeah I mean... This was the neutral map, so in theory, Hart could have banned this if he didn't want it. It seems like both players are okay playing this map, none of them really favoring it. Hart does find the TC, no damage, but he does know it's there. Yep. Hart's going for a second TC on the mainland, though. What do you think of that? I actually don't mind it. Okay. I think if the third T, like you have plenty of gold at home, this is really good for safe wooden food eco. Mm -hmm. um, so your farming setup. So I think you wait until it's safe. Make a move out to that right-hand side or the left-hand side, of course. And I, I think that's more than fine. I think um, Ooh, expanding, trying to expand too much when you don't have the control, uh, it can delay your TCs. Like yeah. Viper had to walk out real early. 
but it can delay your TCs, or it could just be uh, you have too many TCs on stones and golds when you actually need a little bit more food. Wood food, yeah, 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 100%. Uh, we, we tend to see most of the farms set up on that mainland because on the side, there's a lot of trees, a lot of gold stone. You don't really have place to farm. You have a little bit, but there's also that rocky terrain you have to factor in. Uh, Hearts going to go third TC outside, and Viper doing the same thing, just switching up the order. Third TC will be inside on that gold as well. Questionable positioning since that gold has already been oh. kind of taken advantage of. That was oh. a really nice conversion there from the Viper. Seemed like Hart was on the way back. Yeah. And that's going to be a little frustrating. You for can't Hart. complain these days. You can't complain. They changed the minimum conversion time to, I think, what, five seconds in game time. So if you pull back right away, you do get away more often than not. Okay. So these days, insta converting. You know, e even Mr. Yo doesn't get the quickest conversions anymore, which I Hera, think is a positive change. Hera says you can't complain about monks. You can quote me on this. I I'm okay with You'll this You'll never? Now. Okay, really? Yeah. All I right. You I really think you're never going to complain about a conversion again? I will never complain. And you can uh, quote yeah, I'll okay, never complain okay, about monks. Get out of here. They added devotion as well. If I complain, I'm going to become devoted myself. No problem. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's, it's great because I believed everything you said in this cast until now. Now I question everything. Quote me on it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's Just quote good. me on it. It's all good. I respect it. I respect we'll it. We'll see what happens. You know, one of the more annoying things here would be if, like, those scouts right there actually slide through that opening. I like how Hart actually rewalled that. That is one of uh, Hart's emotes, the Llama Jam, right there for all the Hart fans. And uh, a couple of those villagers not building there? No, they were. And there goes Ooh, Hart Lightcap. with Lightcap. That should be a dead monk here. And nice shot from Hart. I mean, he's really paying attention. A lot of players yeah. are not going to worry about the front of the monastery. They're going to look for the the outer areas, but he knows the monks are coming out of there and gets the snipe. Oh, that conversion was crazy. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, that was scripted, man. That was scripted. <laughs> good, good, good block from Viper, though. It does snag another conversion. And Hart's losing quite a bit of knights right now. Um, you know, he's doing a good job of the light cap, sniping the monks, but definitely kind of passing over a few a few knights. Viper is taking a small vill lead here as well. I wonder where Viper builds this castle, right? Because if Hart would have built his TC on the left and Viper knew about that, Viper's going to advance forward, Spanish builders building faster, and he's going to go for that castle mm -hmm. drop. But now it's like more of a, you build the castle for conch production, which you could argue pretty much goes anywhere, right? I think maybe yeah, left yeah. side still makes sense, but when you have, what a lot of this fighting could happen near your main eco where the monastery is, I could see an argument actually for building it there too. So I, I don't know. What would any um, thoughts? It, it it could go both ways, but I think because you're playing on opposite sides here, Heart to the right, Viper to the left. I think the main base is much more interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh, take a look at how the viewers are enjoying any seat at a home. Very nice there from the tweet. That's a seven out of ten living room, I have to say. Well yeah. played. TV as well. Like yeah. TV watchers. I've I've been like a recent TV watcher. It's insane. Like, it's my favorite thing to do. I think watching AOE. Yeah. I like it more than playing AOE. Honestly, it's <laughs> it's so good. We have the, the TV setup and some like nice like snacks or whatever. It's, yeah. it's amazing. But this is all this is all recent. Before the monk nerfs, I don't know if he would have enjoyed the, the the TV watching as much, right? Yeah. <laughs> it, the whole, my whole life changed after the monk nerfs. Honestly, I'm just happier every day. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I agree with you though. I like the devotion tech. I think monks are in a solid spot right now. Mm. This is also coming from someone who could not use monks for his <laughs> life, so some slight bias, but okay. man, I mean, this is going late game here, Hera, right? Mm -hmm. it, it absolutely will, and uh, it comes back to composition, I suppose. As a monk goes down there, beautiful job from Viper. Yeah. Do you prioritize Camel Archer as a must here, if you're hard? That's a great question. I think you, you kind of have to play towards Camel Archer, because if you, what happens is if you play towards pure Camel, right, or even pure Cavalier, or a mix of any stable units, you, you die to help. You will, you will have Viper on help immediately. Yep. If you go Camel Archer and then you go into Heavy Camel, you kind of cover your weakness to help and it, it creates a much better army composition. Of course, this is very expensive and hard to get to. I, I would like to see Hart at a fourth town center mm -hmm. to give him a chance to get to that late game comp. Yeah, I think I think this map, <clears throat> this map especially, um, been seeing it a lot. I actually think on Copenhagen as well, mm -hmm. depending on certain aspects. Uh, if it's going to go late and there's no uh, obvious forward castle situation, which there's not here, I think fourth TC makes sense, but I do wonder, you know, like wh how do you, how many games do you think Hart has played? Like, do you think he's got? Yeah, there you go. It's the yeah, fourth TC. Question. Very nice, very nice. Uh, he, he does seem well prepared. Remember, he's a guy that probably played more than anyone else because yeah. he's qualified, right? Yep, yep, so, yep, yep. as far as games played, I think Hart's up there with the most amounts. I, I will say Viper has been playing a better game so far. I think Viper took better trades. I think he's got a slightly better position on the map currently. A few more vills. It's still really close, though. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> you know, I I'm still really curious about Viper. He's moving out there on that side. Like, how are they going to pressure the opposite side? Both players have an eco set up. Viper didn't choose to build this castle yet. It looks like this is probably going to be it in a second. 
That should be no problem. Uh, I'll drop it. Ooh, actually, I see like I try to go forward with this. That would be very untypical. Of course, we do know Viper. Oh, this is huge. The light calf are actually going to pick up the vills. I thought there were Viper's light calf for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I, I think in the end, unfortunately, they're just light calf. Yeah, yeah. It is a notifier, though, for Hart, which mm -hmm. could give an opportunity to make some more army, bring the camels over. They are on the way, and it's a forward castle from the Viper. Yeah. So this is not a castle which screams conquistador production mm -hmm. at all to me. Yeah, uh, this could be paired with some sort of like fast in. Viper, obviously, one of the smartest guys out there when it comes to Age of Empire strategy, and he oh. probably recognizes that he's got a weaker late game, or at least if Berbers get to the, the, the beast composition, yep, yep, that yep. it could be tricky. This forward castle could be the first step to a fast imp yep. and, and try to try to end the game early. Makes sense. Hearth getting stone shaft mining. That is an upgrade we rarely see. Yeah, that is uh, quite expensive. But he knows he needs the stone fast, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's like maybe one of the times where you need to prioritize it. I think uh, some math whizzes out there have established that that is not quote unquote worth it. Mm -hmm. But right now, if you've got the res for it and you need stone faster, go for it. That's the way to do it. Viper indeed going for the fast step there. Follows it up with a university. So it's going to be interesting to see if he goes for Kongs. He's making a couple for now, but it, it could just be a castle for trap production. He could flex it. He's still mining some stones. So Kongs could be a late game option. Yep. And this isn't like a low eco fast simp. Viper's got 105 bills. Yep. So he's, he's chilling. Yeah, and this is, you know, the eco is not really balanced out how Hart would like right now. He's going to feel a need for some level of defense here. He doesn't know what Viper's going to commit to from that push. So this will likely be a castle here from Hart near his TC. If you do that, though, Viper could just trap it right down. So maybe Hart has the understanding, as we see some more monks go down, that he can't build the castle there. But that leaves his eco exposed. Is again, you know, just monks and light cap. But I think at this point we switch away from that and more into normal army. Yeah, Hart commits to the castle anyways. So he's gonna go castle. Ooh, but this oh! is oh, this could be rough. Oh, jeez, that's rough. Yeah, Pikeman to block the camels from engaging. A few conks to pick up some vills. Hart will get this castle up. Okay, like Death Castle from last series. If you guys have been watching that one. This castle will go up, but a few dead vills, it's going to hurt Hart a little bit. This is, this is perfect for Viper, because not only does he have a castle to trap now, but he also killed some villagers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, so, and it's unfortunate because it's just been this <coughs> kind of back and forth, but Viper would take, has a slight lead, taking a slightly better Oh, game. this and is now, great. This is this really is, smart. I like this. This is going to be, camel archers are off the menu now. Yeah, yeah. You might get like five of them, but once the castle's out of the picture, you're going to struggle. It's going to be Halp Seedram. That is one of the best compositions against Berbers because, I mean, everything that Berbers go for kind of dies to Halp Seedram and early imp. They need a big composition to be able to deal with that unless Hart brings out champions. But, I mean, yeah. he's not Hunts. He's not going long shots here. Um, so I think it, it, it's definitely not something that's on the table for him. I love the double blacksmith from Viper. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I that's think you got to catch up on some upgrades. Mm -hmm. Why not go double blacksmith? We'll it's only see a lot of text coming in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's yeah. got Imperial Age. We see a Treb right away, which makes sense. He's also queuing up some Rams. Yeah, Hart's got to do something. Like, he's going to lose control there. He's got to do something, man. Like, a forward. I, I wouldn't even mind, like, a little bit of army, forward castle on Viper's side. Make it messy. Right now, and I think maybe that's back to maybe Hart's style. He's a very clean player. He doesn't mm -hmm. really create the chaos that much. He just controls the game. Vipers had full control here in his first game at NAC5, and of course, Hart's as well. This is looking difficult for Hart, but the Camel Archers that are out will benefit him against the Pikemen. It's just Viper, once he starts to use those Trebs there, should be taking that castle out. Viper's not doing so yet, but there he goes. Yeah, and the problem is, like, Viper's taking into a lot of techs right now, and he gets a little kickback, 20 gold per. And it's it just the kind of thing where, it, you know, all the extra resources flowing in are going to lead to this early in push. And Hearth is such, like, such in a defensive position and on the back foot. I don't know if he's going to have the time to, to be able yeah. to hold this one. If, if he has to go up some, some ground for sure. Yeah, I think the way to play this is hand cannons, if you're Hart. A lot of people forget that Berbers get hand cannons, but I think... You have, it's going to be bad regardless, but drop four ranges, hope for chemistry to kick, and then if you can get hand cannons out, you can combine that with your cab and still have a pretty solid force. Yeah. But yeah. he is really committed to this. He's repairing with lots of stone. He's making more camel archers. He's, he's going to have about 10 of them soon. So a positive, he'll have 10 of them, but still really going to struggle to produce a lot long term. Yeah, he does have another castle in the back as well. So if we call the first castle something like of a sacrificial castle, just something to buy some time, he could still, in theory, produce camel archers. And camel archers shouldn't really die too, you know, too quickly. Obviously, a couple go down there, but <laughs> you should be able to keep them alive for the most part here. Um, it's just a question of how to deal with the rams now. And Viper's <laughs> taking Cavalier as well. It's interesting, Viper. I mean, Hart added all of these mangonels. 
uh, because he expected a siege ram push, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is actually was smart. And Viper's doing a little choo choo on the right side. <laughs> here, here he goes, choo choo, <laughs> going no all the way <laughs> just to the, the other whole side way across the map. Hart's gonna look at this and be like, huh? <laughs> He added a farm. He was on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> Did he lose the farm? How does that even work? They have one HP. They should go down, right? Uh, I don't know if the, does the Rams? Ram have splash damage. It should, right? That is strange. It should have a little bit. Yeah. I, apparently, you don't lose that farm. But anyways, it's pretty unimportant as Viper continues his bush. Now, he's got to be careful with the Camel Archers. He only has Pikemen in there, but he seems happy enough. He figures a castle will protect. He will toss the pikemen away just simply so he can get that castle down. If and Hart is able to snipe the cannons and then use his own cannons to snipe the traps, he could hold this, by yeah, the way. that's true. This isn't an impossible hold for Hart. And this is a lot of villagers here. It is a tough game to play, though. See yeah. the micro. Clean from Hart so far. Yeah, clean. And you know, unfortunately, the bomber cannon's moving away. Viper. He's got some outposting on the right, so does Hart, but Hart's gonna drop a castle that Viper will easily see. This is the problem. Hart has committed so much of yeah. his focus to defend this area. Viper, he's got more than those two rams on the right-hand side now. And those Cavalier are gonna have full upgrades soon, by the way. Yeah, and they're finding a good amount of value. It, I, I really like how Viper prioritized different units here. He, he was going for the Halp Siege Ram, forced the reaction, then just switched it up. Went for Bomber Cannon and Cavalier. Just switched up his priority. Checking into everything, which is going to benefit him in late game, given yep. that diverse Spanish late game. Hart is floating so many resources right now. What is he going for here? Elite Camel Archer. Wow. I always forget Elite Camel Archer doesn't cost food. Like yeah. like Mangadai, for example. Mm. Actually, Ma yeah, Mangadai is food and gold. Yeah. So uh, may maybe some of that uh, forgot in the moment. Or maybe, you know, his macroed well, which is the problem, is he can't spend his resources fast enough because everything's dying. Yeah. And he's got to react so heavily here. Yeah, and the castle's going down here. I think this might just be it because he's got the elite camel archer, but he doesn't have a single castle. We just got one on the right right now, but everything's exposed. The, f the food and wood economy is just completely in the gutter right now, and Hart is just cornered. He's got 20% of the map right now. Yeah, and Viper has eight on gold. He doesn't even need yeah, any yeah. more gold units from here, and Viper... G. G, G. That's uh, it. G. Just G. Yep, G for wow. Viper. Yep. Just like that, eh? And when the game's live, yeah. you get the chat, but when he corrects it with the GG a second later, mm -hmm. we missed it. And people are typing G in our chat now, so. <laughs> it's unavoidable, it's unavoidable. <laughs> well, you know, Hart, this good, is good. gonna seem like a weird statement, mm -hmm. um, but I, I think he like, he kind of needed that game. Like, if he's gonna lose game one, he needs it to be post-imp. He needed to, to get that feel. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's he, not nervous. Did you see the, the form on the water? He, he wasn't shaking at all, v very calm. <laughs> he's not nervous at all right have now. We, have we cool. seen someone shake when they're drinking water? I it's don't know. definitely happened at some point. I, don't know. I will say, <laughs> so, the boys there. I, I think that the plan is to have heart rates on uh, stream at some point for, for future days in NAC. But players have been wearing heart rate monitors. And Doubt put his on for the first time today. And he ran out here. He goes to Tato, tells Tato what his heart rate is, and goes, call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ambulance, ambulance. So. He had like 105 resting heart rate. Which I, think, I think it's a little too much, actually. Well, well, so Yo walked up the stairs, put his on, and he goes, really? And I'm like, Yo, did you just walk up the stairs? He's like, yeah. He's like, okay, I'll wait. I mean, true gamer heart rates here, let's just say that. But, uh, man, um, uh, but back to my point, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I went to post imp. He got a feel for things. He got in really late last night, so he wasn't maybe able to, to put in as many practice games as he would have wanted. Not to get a feeling for the sibs, but get a feeling for the space. Yeah, being yeah. Being here. So we'll see how it goes. You know, Arabia, Marsh Madness, then uh, the two home maps for Hart. I, I feel like uh, he has a good opportunity to go for that. Did you notice he has Hindustani's on his draft, though? Yeah, yeah, no. H Hindustani is in there. I'm likely going to use that for Fortify Clearing. Um, he doesn't really have any other Civ that screams Fortify Clearing. Huh. I, I could see an Ethiopians or a Saracens potentially, yeah. but I don't think Incas and Persians are doing too much there. So it does seem like Hindustani for Fortify Clearing makes the most sense here. Um, okay. No, I think we'll Hindustani's see. is a standout for me though, right? Because like, I think the booming potential is good and I mm. think their gunpowder is great. Camel's obviously good in some matchups, but we have not seen Hindustani's played at all today. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it could just be like they got banned out, but... They are a sieve that isn't good on every map, right? They're, they're clear holes in the tech tree, you know, no yeah. knights at all. Uh, will, will cost you a lot of problems in, in some scenarios. But on a map where you can just boom and play for the late game, I think Hindustani late game is still it's fantastic. Still good. Okay, People yep. forget about the nine range hand cannoneer, by the way. The nine range hand cannoneer, one of the best late game units in the game. Yep. Like straight up, it's really, really strong, hard to deal with. Um, 
It, it could be it could be his fortified clearing shot, but I think Hart's gonna play towards one of his home maps right yeah, now. Yeah, it makes sense. Save save that for later on. <clears throat> yeah, I would say go Arabia, but he goes Marsh Madness. Same okay. difference for me. Uh, will be fun though because we've got Persians, which is a great hybrid save. The ability to to dock and and work in towards land military is, is unrivaled, possibly right. Mm -hmm. Starting with the extra wood and the extra food, faster TC work rate, stronger TC, stronger docks. So your docks stay up for a long time. Viper goes Khmer. And we had a conversation about this like, you know, an hour ago when we were watching the other series because it was uh, Khmer Japanese in the Doubt Leary series. And I, the reason it was of note was because I remember Tato playing with Khmer, same matchup and whatnot, uh, in his qualifier. I looked at Tato when Doubt did that. I was like, hey, is he going to do it? And both the GL players that were there were like, no, that doesn't suit Doubt's style. <laughs> Viper could consider the, the strategy. So, so Viper uh, has a potential. You can skip the barracks with the Khmer. Mm -hmm. Um, there's this build that Tato did where you go barracks, uh, sorry, stable range and put some really fast pressure on, just get like an extra edge with army early and make it messy. We'll see. I, I think that's a good approach with Khmer especially because like what happens is if you just go stable, right, you're going to you're gonna deal with Spearman for sure. Every top yep. player knows to go Spears against Khmer because any other Civ, you go Scouts and Spears and then it could be a meter match. But Khmer, because they tend to skip the barracks, they don't have to, but they tend to skip the barracks. They don't have access to Spears, so therefore they have to play towards Archers to deal with enemy Spears. So the, the fast range stable could be a really good push mm -hmm. for them. Uh, I would like to see how Hart deals with that. I think Defensive Tower, if things get messy, always on the cards, especially on a map like this where you can't really wall, right? Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, and that's that's the big thing to remind people of, the rocky terrain. Not the terrain the sides, but the rocky terrain you cannot wall on, uh, which will lead to more small walling, which means archers actually are, are stronger. Mm -hmm. But, there, you know, there's some downsides, too, to that play. Viper doesn't, not really a forward style. He tends to play out from home, and, and I would expect maybe... Both players do that here, but both just pushing in deer for now. Um, the, the, another benefit to going archers, and I'm a little surprised we've seen so many players go for scout builds. Like, even in your series against ACCM, you were scouts with Magyars. ACCM went skirms and spears. I was thinking, like, man, if any of these players went for an archer build, they got they win water because the other guy's not taking gold. Yeah, right? yeah. But then again, there's, there's probably some downsides, too, if you're going towards an archer build to trying to combine that with water at the same time. Actually, I, I could give some insight there because in the qualifiers, it was actually a lot more archer builds. Yep. But what people realized that winning water takes forever because you have to go so far on the outside, right? Yep. To hit the other guy's fish. And the guy can just run around and then just make fire galleries or just yep. hide his fish like temporarily. And so winning water is more of a long-term thing. Doesn't give you that instant benefit that you'd expect. That cat is not saying we love NAC. That cat is saying feed me human. That is what that yeah, cat the, the is The cat's like, right you've now. been watching for too long. Yeah, yeah. Like, I am standing in the way of you because <laughs> you didn't feed me a treat within the last hour and a half. But Oh, speaking of treats, Hart is taking some goodies from Vipers DC <laughs> there. One sheep down. Oh, my. Two gone to Hart's base. Hart is coined for the win here. That's huge. Yeah, I mean, Viper, it, it might affect some of his build in some way, right? Mm -hmm. It certainly means he's going to have to seed farms, drop a mill, something along those lines a bit earlier. And uh, we kind of, I think we missed the start of that. I was looking at the cat, but... Uh, Understandable. Very, <laughs> I very feel cute. Like, I feel like uh, the big thing there was his heart just kind of went for it. You know, mm -hmm. players don't really expect the scout to go through. And sometimes what happens if the player, when you go underneath their TC and they garrison, then there's no villagers nearby to hold ownership of the sheep. It switches and you can kind of run away with them. So that's mm -hmm. probably what we saw there. Yeah, TC is not very accurate as well. Like, are you a Star Wars fan? You know, like the Stormtroopers? They don't hit anything? That's, yeah, that's yeah. a TC. D dude. There's something wrong with them, dude. <laughs> I, I it's think bad. so. Yeah, it, it's, it's bad. They can't hit anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's, you. it's really bad. Yeah. Uh, Unless it, but if you, uh, you know, when you're max range, they just hit everything. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, we, we we're seeing a stable from Vipers. I don't know about this like stable range play, but it looks like it's a bit more standard. Does have two on gold. That's mainly for the fish, or like the the water gameplay, uh, the ships. Yeah, and Hart scouted that, which is big. So I really like the opening for Hart. This is a really nice position for him. It's been very smooth. Being Persians, you'd expect his eco is going to be solid. He is making fire galleys of his own. You can be later to the fire galley production, to your point here, yeah. and still be fine because by the time they get across to you, you'll have the defensive ships out to match it. Yeah, it is worth mentioning. Oh, now we see the range from Viper. L maybe a, a little bit of an alteration from that strategy. But 
there is water that connects like the map like through the center. You could go from one side to the other, but there's no fish there. It's just like shallows. Yeah. So you, you know, late game we could see some you know galleons or cannon gallon, but that's just something for uh, you know later on. Interesting. Nothing that plays a, a role Viper's here. Interesting. Viper's scouting the left of the map right now. Like, is he looking for those sheep? Does he know there's extra sheep and cows on the map or something? Oh, he, he, sorry to distract from the no, fight here, but he actually found the cow that was that was like a neutral cow or some sort over there. So I wonder if that was some level of preparation. Yeah, there's another one there. Oh, we're going to go ahead and fight, out, fight it off. Fire galley versus fire galley. We tend to see a lot of those on this map because players don't really care to, to micro those when there's so much going on on the land. We'll see if they, they do give it any attention. Hearts taking a little bit of a vill lead here. A couple of vills. Persian TC works faster. Maybe added Look a couple of Look at the amount of food right now, dude. Three on food for Viper. Oh Ten for God. Heart. Heart's still got sheep. And uh oh, Heart. Oh, oh but that the, the fire okay. galley's coming in. Yeah. The vill doesn't die. Yeah, Viper's going to have to run here. Good and that villager then can actually, re oh, can't get the repair in, in time. But in the end, that's not too bad for Heart. Yeah. We'll see if Viper can go for this. Oh, mm. oh, is it? No, this is unlike Viper. This is, this is more like Doubt. <laughs> Wasting the scout. Oh, but he will get the villagers, so hey, it's not a bad trade in the end. I, I think they were focused elsewhere because uh, neither of the players seemed too, too worried about that situation. Yeah, Viper's res collected, not looking too hot, and, and this is this is looking good for Hart. But you know, Viper, playing defense right now with those scouts, has an opportunity to actually move forward. Very Viper-esque to actually wall this and just send his army forward. Yeah. So I, I'm a little surprised he chose to bring his scouts home to defend from those. And, and he actually doesn't need to wall it. Even just some houses, house hopping with Khmer can be really insane. It gives your Vils a lot of value. They can fight till 1 HP, hop in the house, and just be completely safe. Viper is moving out with some archers now. I don't know if Hart scouted that, if he knows about the range. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. I think okay. he ran past it. We could maybe just double check here. Yeah, he ran past yeah, it, so yeah. he should know. I think in this spot, making more scouts is always a, a play, but he's going to make skirms as well. We'll need to be careful with those skirms, though, with, since Viper has the scouts. Actually, I just realized Hart can go full scouts and be fine because uh, Viper can't make a spear. So I think that could be a nice counter. I just gave it away. Damn, I should have kept that to myself. <laughs> it's, it's fine, though. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah. If this convert, I'm taking it anyways. Yeah, let's see. This could be a big hit, by the way, on the woodline here. But counterattack from Hart. He gets a villager. Big oh, moment man. here. L how much focus is he putting on uh, Viper's base? Okay, he does react there. You can tell Viper struggling a little bit with, with the defense as well, right? And it's it's kind of rare to see those moments where you can tell both players are distracted in their attack and defense. But that's what we have here. A little bit of a trade, but Hart defending very nicely. He's fighting off the scouts with villagers. He has a spear in there. And the skirms are enough to, to scare those archers away. Yeah, those fellows are not scared of fighting. They're, they're very brave. Look at them. Army coming back from Hart, playing it safe. Does have a couple of spears. Viper's micro has been pretty solid. I feel like he's taking better trades. But Hart does have the, you know, the, the bigger army here, the larger force. Should be able to clean this one out. Viper will sacrifice those archers if he needs to and Hart's, just run away with the scouts. Hart's eco is so good. He's added more fishing ships, which is something that is so hard to think of. He's got a good balance of it. He hasn't gone over the top. It's at seven. His farming eco is great. His scout number's looking higher and higher. He's got six scouts right now. The Viper's got five archers, three scouts, two more in queue, though. So to your point, it feels like this could actually be almost Land Madness style, mm -hmm. funded by some of the fish, and we could <laughs> see, like, two or three stable scouts. Yeah, yeah, you, you could go crazy with it if you really want to. These are cavalry ships on the table as well here. A little sneak attack from Viper on top. Can we, can we get the, 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 the production here to look at that? Yeah, two archers, not the biggest of deal, but Hart has to look at that now, yeah, or else the bills can go down. Yeah, it was really impressive. And yeah, he also yeah. has to make sure he doesn't miss Micro. He did slightly. Yeah. And this is Viper finding a way to, to change this because Viper is behind right now in terms of game flow. But, you know, villagers could still die. I assume Hart's going to be looking at that, but now Hart taking a fight against some of the archers. He does kill the scouts. Ooh, Hart has some ships here. They picked off an archer. They're kind of creating a little barrier, so Viper cannot pass. And Hart will get the cleanup or not. Doesn't look like it. Did react to the two archers up top. It seems to be very even in terms of like the, the fights that they're taking, but Viper's getting in bloodlines. Bloodlines after losing scouts, though, it's a bit strange. Yeah, well, I mean, he's gonna make more, right? Yeah, he yeah. feels the need to make more, so it does make sense, I agree. Like, ideally, though, yeah. you know, the timings would have been better, so credit to Hart for finding them. I, I do like, though, like the, the what Viper's doing here. Those two archers, I know it doesn't seem like a lot because he never killed anything, but that's focus that he's taking. Yeah. He's setting the pace. When I, I watch a lot of Hart, right, I have for, for five or six years, mm -hmm. And he's never the player to go full feudal. He's always like, I've made enough feudal age army. We go castle age now. Mm. This is the moment, Hera, where he's most vulnerable. Mm, yeah, well, I could not see that. Does have the tower still in the back pocket, right? 
Uh, going yeah. for the market. Oh, could sell off the stone though if he gets a little uh, little frisky oh, in the dude, market here. You sell the stone and then you need a tower. It's the worst, yeah, worst thing. Yeah, you can't buy it back. It's a matter of principle. You sell the stone, it's gone. Uh, Viper does have a lot of scouts in the field, but Viper doesn't seem like the guy to go full feudal either, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, we'll I see think if Viper had, I, he had five archers a moment ago. This is, oh man, hearts. Heart, your, your navy. Hearts and navy. <laughs> How Heart. about the fishing ships? <laughs> uh, He's the first player to send the navy into the crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks good <laughs> until now. Still, oh, he's, though. He's got some practice on this map. But he clicks still, up, and he's yeah, in a yeah. good spot. Yeah, I thought Viper would bring in some archers with uh, the scouts and be able to find a moment, but Hart killed a lot of the archers with the skirmishers. Uh, I, I agree with you, by the way. I think scouts alone, not as threatening as scouts with archers. I think scout archer is like, th that can kill a lot of things. Yeah. Let's see what the scouts can do, though. These guys have bloodlines. No blacksmith upgrades, though. Yeah, it feels like Hart just got just enough, and Hart is up. This is this is huge, man. What a position for him right now. Viper hasn't clicked. Viper will click if Hart can defend from this, and then be in a position to immediately counterattack with knights. The Khmer don't usually wall; they're just spending their time in houses. So I could see a real opportunity to at least idle half of Viper's economy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as soon as knights hit the field, guys, like scouts are solid, but scouts can be fought back with vils. Knights. You need military to deal with knights. Uh, this is a huge find, too. The Ooh. navy actually yeah, yeah, makes yeah. its way to Viper's fish. So Viper's really not going to have many fish. There are still some out there for Hart. Honestly, at this point, though, I think both players will put most of their focus on the land. Oh, this is strange, though. Hart just abandons this position. Does have the two spears, though. Okay. I guess it's enough. It's enough. Viper's going to respect the spears. Back up. A lot of those scouts are weak, so it makes sense. I want to see what Hart does as soon as he hits Castle Age. As soon as he hits Castle Age, a big moment for him to really find some, some value with those early Castle units. As far as town centers go, he could actually place one on the wood line now because he's chopped enough trees. Mm -hmm. The gold, though, kind of feels like the biggest spot of worry right now. He's just going to fight this. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, he says, I mean, but this is like not easy to do, right? High level players are going to do it, but shows the confidence. Hart's like, you know what? I'm just going to fight off until my spearmen arrive. It doesn't worry about running or allowing Viper to idle more. By the way, credit to Viper. A lot of players go full feudal there, and they get up to castle way too late. Viper's just a minute behind, and he's using the scouts to buy time in that minute while walling yep. up at home. Yep. Viper is really, really playing this as, as smart as possible those, right now. Those knights right now from Hart need to be making that move forward. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy not to. I like how Hart's using the scouts already, so this is an indicator he's looking here. I'm sure the knights will be coming. I actually love the TC from Hart at home as well. The timing felt natural. The position of it's pretty good. It's always going to be awkward with wood on this map, yeah. but if you protect the gold and are near another wood line, that's still good. Monastery right away from Viper. Recognizes he's going to be on the back foot. Listen, he's not necessarily dead, but uh, definitely has to respect what Hart has on the field. Because if Viper missteps, then he'll just die on the spot. Yeah. These are nice. Goes for elephants. What? Elephants. I mean, if there's a monastery at home for Hart, it's going to be trouble to get any value from those things. They're, they're stronger, but they're slower, and they're more expensive. And there's the monastery there from Hart. It probably surprised Hart more than it surprised us, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hart just like clicked into them just out of instinct. He's going to fight whatever comes out, but you know, even a guy like him, macho as he is, not going to fight elephants with knights here. Going to just run around them, though. Elephants might as well not be there. If they can't hit, I mean, they look threatening, but they're not doing too much. It's like every single moment of this game, it has been Hart, right? Yeah. I, I mean, the opening was smooth. Uh, the trades have been favorable, about a 2-1 to one KD. The eco's looking great. His techs are coming in. The, the, you would not think that this is his first time playing 1v1s against the greatest player ever, many would say. This is incredible. Yeah, really, really good play from Hart here. We'll actually use the, the use of fire ships has just been insane. Kills the elephant, runs away from the monk, doesn't get converted, and he's in complete control. And behind this, two town centers. Yep. It's not an all-in. He's fine. Okay, so monk's the key now. Um, expanding your eco. What point do you think about Pikeman here? Both players are going calf. Mm -hmm. What do you think about, like, talk me through Pikeman timing. So, so generally speaking, a, a lot of the newer players, beginner players, they tend to go into Pikeman way too early. But when monks are on the field, the monks will counter the first few Pikeman anyway. So you want to go Pikeman once you've got a big economy, and you can sustain to spam them out, right? Yep. Uh, so if you lose a few, it's not the, you know, the end of the world here. So definitely, you know, Cav, Monk first. Later on, we can talk about some Pikeman switch, which definitely still relevant, but you just don't want to rush into it here. Yep, makes sense. Typically, I think it's after the third town center. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this map is also really hard to build your typical base because you can't TC the wood lines. So I, I could actually see this being more of a two town center heavy army map. Mm -hmm. 
uh, compared to, to like Arabia or some of the other maps we have out there. Hart goes for another dock on the side. This is to renew the fish because when we had the fishing ships on the other side, sometimes you know you don't want to make fish traps. You just make a dock on the other side and they can continue fishing, continue benefiting from that water that he has now won. Yep. Yeah, the light cap as well here. Hart, 97 population, Viper 65. And that's a 30 population lead 25 minutes into the game. Viper's going to have to find a way to break Hart. But it feels like if you watch the first game, we've now arrived to the, okay, we boom, we make army, nothing real special happens, which means advantage hard all the way. Yep. Viper's not in a position to really build up towards anything massive to change the situation right now. Hard goes for a third TC. He actually delayed that, made sure everything was fine, then goes for the third TC here. Just has to not grief any units to the monks. Don't yep. don't give anything away for free. You know, it could be a generous guy, but you don't want to be handing things out in a, in, in a game here, especially not, you know, when a, a map like this, a lot of damage could happen with, with mobility. That's a TC right there. Both, that's crazy. Both of those TCs that they have placed near the, like, the middle area where they're accessing each other, big targets. Yeah, yeah. And big, big targets. Like, the Persian TC, obviously less of a target mm -hmm. because it has more HP, which is, which is a big deal here, but... Like, something's going to go down here. <laughs> we might see demos coming in this choke soon. Like, it's all going to be happening right here on our screens. Yeah, I like how Viper's just hopping in and out with the mugs, holding down the fort. But I think Hearts more than fine just booming this one out. It does have the 3TC set up with the Persians working faster. Ooh, I like this with the Knights going for the raids. Not getting complacent, not just sitting around. Will go find his own luck here. And we did see him picking up Vils from the farms. This time Viper respects him and pulls back some Vils. But he could go for a couple of those there. Yeah, Viper, though, he finds the wood line. And what Ooh. a great job from him to, to also keep looking for opportunities. It's so easy to feel like you're, you're behind and not find these opportunities that's been the area vipers found he tried with the archers earlier but still heart on viper monks becoming more and more important now as the night raids still continue i wonder if heart can just go for devotion and and just let viper get happy with the monks at home and actually the light cap sniping a few of those units yep monks go down a couple of those as well you could go devotion and go for some heavy castleage I hope Hart, I hope Hart is feeling like a god right now because he's playing like one. Like I hope that when he's sitting there, he's like, I'm doing this right now. Like I, I made it here. Yeah, I had a little less training, got in late. He told me like today might be a throwaway day for me. It's against Viper, who knows? That this does not seem like a player who has that type of mindset at all. I'd love to see a castle here. Like big energy castle would be sick. I don't know if you could build it because of the marsh terrain, but it seems like he's building up for, at the very least, a defensive castle. Yeah, I've spoken to Hart a lot as well, and he comes into the, with the mentality that he is a winner just being here. Like, yep, this is yep, a yep. huge stage for him. Anything extra is is great. If he wins one game against Viper, that's great. And he's on track to doing that. Magno gets two kills. Going for the castle, that's as forward as you can make it without being too risky. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a castle that would be built slightly differently if the terrain's not there. Mm -hmm. Marsh playing a big role there, defending Viper's Town Center. And Viper's heavy on stone. What is that, 19 on stone? <laughs> yeah, not for long, right? He doesn't have much army here. Viper only has four monks. I'm not seeing any conversion starting. And Viper goes in with the light cap, though, and he's going to find a couple monk kills. Hart will defend himself very nicely, though. Well, I mean, he kills the light cap, lost all the monks, but... Yeah, the, the, the job. It's, oh, it's going to be on the same, the other side. Yeah, and monks from Viper going down. And this is the thing, like, light cap are so effective against monks. If you're not watching your monks, they will die in just a couple hits here. And that castle from Hart really locks down that middle area. There's two goals on my screen, two stones. If Hart can push into that area and push Viper off those minerals, that could be huge. I, I'm thinking, I know in a lot of situations, it, you might feel players, like, will go up to Imp for Trebs or something. This map, they're far too close. There's a lot of open spots. I love to see all in Castle Age. Maybe now you see the Pikemen or just more Knights, more like have more upgrades from both. Yeah, 100%. We see Viper Tekken into infantry armor. He's going to switch into Pikes. This feels terrible with Khmer because you skipped the early barracks. So you have to like make it again. Yeah. <laughs> like You're losing your bonus. I hate it. It, it, it. it might be the correct call here. Like It's clearly desperation, but it just doesn't feel good. Yeah, absolutely. And and Hart, as we said before, has just been dominating Viper this entire game. Oh From the my start of God. the age, the TC will be gone. Viper, who's already 20 villagers behind, has to run home. And Hart is on his tail. He's chasing those vills, but decides to back up one monk. <laughs> one, one monk! monk. <laughs> okay, it was two in fairness, yeah, but still. Yeah. Come on, Hart. I would have liked a little bit more energy there. The vills are running for their lives, but he's playing it cool. Doesn't want to take any risk and uh, really just slow pushing this one. Yeah, he's got the lead, and he, yeah. he knew about the monks. He goes in with the light cap now to take care of them, and then maybe he can go for the full dive. 
But, you know, the, some of the best players, they won't go for the kill all the time because they know the other player's good in defense yeah, yeah, and they yeah. don't want to overextend. I think we – Hart is probably – I mean, every player who's in the top ten has probably thrown games by diving too deep, pushing too much. Oh, my God. Oh, there's oh redemption God. on these. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. This could be huge. Monks, I think they I move think faster they, than Mangonel, so they should they, be They will yeah. get converted, I think. One kills. Maybe a second. At the end Ooh. of the day, there's a second. Okay. okay. At the end of the day, though, Viper doesn't have the army otherwise yeah, yeah. to really protect it, right? Even, like, those pikemen, I don't think the numbers are enough. Hart is going to get the clear up there and maintains his lead. The monks for Viper go down, and Viper's got nothing now. Dude. Yeah, yeah. That, that, but Viper was borderline bluffing with that fight, you know, kind of moving forward. But Hart takes the win and a great, great result there for him against Viper. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and, and, you know, in the first game we said you need to do a little bit to shake it up, right? And we didn't, he wasn't really able to find that moment here. And what it ended up being was more of a low army game, pretty clean, TC timings. You know, it was a usual boomy game. That game was different. We had water elements. We had the land elements. Hart did a great job in both defense and attack. Now, I don't know what his nerves would have been like, but I wonder if right now, when he's tied up 1-1, when he's got the win, where he's like, boom, 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 I have the skill to do it. Like, sometimes people... It, it's the hope that kills you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it, the nerves really start to ramp up right now. Mm -hmm. when, when you have no chance, you don't care. You're just playing. Yeah. But when you have a chance, yeah. you, you get emotionally invested. But I talk to Hart all the time. He tells me he never gets nervous, like somehow. But I don't believe him, to be honest. I don't believe that at all, I, dude. I want the heart rate monitor. <laughs> I, I need to double check this. The heart rate monitor. Oh, oh. it has the yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even intend that pun, but some, somewhere, somehow, Nilly planned that one. Yeah. The master of puns himself. But I mean, when he qualified he, and he was interviewed, I've never heard the man speak so fast and so oh, high up. Shaking, yeah. He was, so to say that he's not nervous here at a land, I don't know. But I mean, maybe some people are just better under pressure, mm -hmm. and they can funnel those nerves into something that's not big mistakes and panic. <laughs> um, so he certainly didn't look like he were big mistakes and panic there. As I'm now panicking because I have to look at this it, again. It, it just makes me like smile every time I see it because it's so like. Everything's AOE, and then this just comes out, and it's so like out there. So, yeah, you I don't could know. probably you could like make this your screensaver at home if you like it that much. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, could, it does you make put me it smile, up on your TV when you're not watching it. It's just a bit strange, though. Like, <laughs> or or lose a little too happy in that in, in that moon. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a photo from. Uh, I think that was Ornlu's caster photo at NAC two or one or something. Was that happy to cast? Oh my god, <laughs> respect. Oh man, we need a guy like that. So Hart ties it up 1-1. Uh, again, someone paid for this to be behind us, by the way. This is not Nilly's choice. Nilly didn't say, hey, uh, what can we do to make Hera and uh, T90, or at least T90, even more awkward um, and choose this? It was a donation. It was, it was crowdfunded to go towards the event. Money well spent. Mo money well spent. Honestly, like that, that's... He made the most out of it, that's for sure. I, I couldn't I couldn't pick a better backer myself. Hopping into game three, though. We got Fortified Clearing, Burgundians, and Hindustani. So we were right in the prediction from Heart Civ there. Yeah, so you and you mentioned Hindustani's for the closed map. So was this a discussion you guys had had before, or was this just an opinion that you had that matched his, his outlook? Well, I, I just felt like out of the Civs that were there, Hindustani yeah, kind yeah. of just screamed Fortified Clearing. Uh, it's not exactly your typical Fortified Clearing Civ. We saw Burgundians. We saw even Huns doing big things. Uh, in in another tournament, ACCM made them work. I think in the qualifiers, I think Nikon made it work. I, I don't remember exactly, but Huns were like kind of countering Burgundians. This time, Viper took Huns in his draft. Hindustani as the response here against the Burgundians, which seems to be the most classic Civ on arena-style maps. Yep, I mean, eco upgrades in H earlier. Um, I think in some ways, uh, Hart actually got housed, and he has to get Loom, which Ooh. is not great. And he's making the house in the in the in the middle spot. In the space. Oh. Yikes. Okay. That's that's like that's one of the ones that hurts a lot because yeah. it's, that's something you, you just you hurt yourself, right? It wasn't like your opponent earned that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. You feel really bad about that as a player. I, I think w whenever you get outplayed, you're like, damn, respect. But if you lose to yourself, it just doesn't feel right. Definitely makes you feel like you know things could have been a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Viper with a smooth start and learning in some deer here. So small advantage, Viper already here. Yeah. I mean, my feeling on the Burgundians on the close map is. There are civs that can compete with them, but I don't think there's a single civilization which is like clearly better than them. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is my feeling. Yeah, so yeah. You, you, you can do no wrong here if you're the Viper. I think this will likely be another game where we have lots of scouts and lots of monks on the, uh, on the field. There's five relics in the middle area on this map. 
And then there's four relics on the outside, mm -hmm. uh, on the two on the right and then two on the left, as well as neutral or extra golds and stones. By the way, this map is incredibly hard to play because if you look at the edges of the map, we actually have a little bit of rocky terrain. prevents you from walling the sides. Yep. So if you see players and how they set up their base, they can wall a little bit, like kind of like an egg wall their base, but they can't control sides of the map. So this game, especially on late, you know, late game, even mid game, with a lot of caveats on the field. It, it's crazy because you cannot guarantee your safety. Are you surprised that both are going for feud late chair? Um, no. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I I thought I was gonna preface that with try not to reveal too much. <laughs> but uh, I am not surprised here yeah. because I I think it makes a, a lot more sense from Viper to do it because Burgundians will get early bow saw and early heavy plow, so you can go like full heavy plow setup. Yep. But I think going feudal age lets you snipe the enemy scout, lets you get the stable set up. It's actually a very safe opening, so okay. I like it. All right, yep. I mean, I agree. It makes sense with Burgundians, but the Vils also get a bit cheaper for heart in the next stage, which is it's like minimal, but still, it's mm. a bonus, right? Um, yeah, it is interesting how not being able to wall to the edge has changed this map. I would be mm. curious, because there's different versions, how people would play it if they could wall to the edge, because it's still decent enough investment. But it's going to be scouts here. We got lots of time to talk here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of scouts hitting back and forth. And I, I don't think it's going to be a whole lot of action. It's going to be more about just setting up for the relic fight. Both players, of course, really want to get the relics. This could be a pretty impactful scout fight, ooh, though. Oh, 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 Viper, Viper's good at these. But so is Hart, to be fair. It's going to be close. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, neither of them can we, fully committed. Can, can we go to a, a player POV? Oh, I actually have control of that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Viper got the hit. It was uphill. Oh, my God. Oh, and what? Viper gets the kill. Oof. It was 7 HP there for Viper, yeah. so even if Hart got the hit, it wouldn't have been enough. Not even close there. Well played. Bosaw yeah. coming in, Horse Collar as well. Yeah, now, you know, I think even if that scout engagement was actually kind of nice in some ways, though, for Hart, because that scout from Viper that's coming over to his base is weak. Yeah, so yeah. it's not gonna it's not gonna stop any walls. It, so it, he it, could just like freely wall. He doesn't have to take his. He doesn't have to feel like he's risking anything. No. And uh, Hart's gonna make another scout anyway. So this shouldn't be like a huge huge deal. Yeah. Some scout losses can be disastrous, but this one not not huge. Uh, Viper will try to scout the stable. Obviously knows it's there since he sees another scout on the field. Heavy plow coming in. So we definitely talked about that Burgundians and Viper. Not a single farm. That's not a heavy plow farm right there. Yep, he really waited for that. And the heavy plow does take a lot longer than horse collar. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, makes sense, right? This is going to go late game. That's your bonus right there. I, I, I'd be curious to watch the res collected at the bottom right. Every time I watch the Burgundians, I'm just staring at that number right there and I'm just seeing it climb and climb and climb. So, yeah. I mean, they, they get ahead so fast, mm -hmm. for basically for free, because it's not like Hart can do anything to stop him from clicking both. So like, please don't click it. Yeah. It, he's got to click it every single time. So yeah. it's, it's a guaranteed advantage. Hart's kind of just stuck in the feudal age with him here, and he's going to be walling up and just playing towards the next age. But this feels like a pretty solid position for Viper here. Yeah, and uh, this is similar to game one when Viper just assumed Hart will not make a lot of army. Mm -hmm. So I will not rush the walls down. It's really interesting. Like, I would never do this, right? Mm -hmm. I, I would always get my walls down and play safe. But Viper's like, eh, I'm actually completely fine. He's going to save that scout underneath his TC for later. Yeah. That guy's just waiting to be healed up. <laughs> I like how we moved it even further underneath the TC. Hey, I, I, we did see Hart <laughs> run for the sheep, so who knows? Ooh, big speedrun engagement. Oh, never lucky. Hart's just l losing all these 50-50s here. Down a scout and a spear. Can uh, we see Hart's fog of war here? Can he, I want to see, can he see the scout? This is really important business. Yeah, for sure. Oh, he's close. Spearman, scout. Ooh, Ooh, eats oh, a hit there. Oh, it's not good for the oh. morale. She's the stable, though. <laughs> <laughs> that scout. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh. And there's no way Hart expects it to be there. So. Oh, look at that. Viper's on the screen here as well. Oh, man. And that's from the meme master here. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, and then uh, stable there for the Viper, who didn't make a single scout because he assumed Hart would wall. And that res collect is looking great. I think he might have actually sent that scout out now, Hare. I don't see it. And he's going to go middle. That's actually quite yeah. smart because that does need to be scouted, and he doesn't think Hart has anything there right now. And by the way, finding all of those relics just saves you such a headache when you're looking for them later. If you if you scout them earlier, you know exactly where to go with your monk. You could shift-click all of them. Uh, this is a really good play for Viper. Scouting in the middle is huge. He does have Loom, so like Hart could snipe a vill, but it's going to be... It's going to be tough. Can he do it, though? No, doesn't commit for it. Now, does Viper switch that to another farm? Okay, he does. 100%. I could see... I could, if that's like Viper versus me, he leaves that build there, and he's like, try. <laughs> just maybe, try. Yeah. Go ahead. Try. <laughs> just ba baiting for the YouTube shorts, yeah. basically. <laughs> it's, like, it's just a for it. 
I almost, I'm like gonna leave because I'm like, I don't want to give you the opportunity to embarrass me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just save face and back up. Uh. Actually, heart losing that scout is pretty bad. I'm gonna see the market now from Viper. He does need a second building. Market's natural here. Heart looks like he's gonna click up faster. Not sure. Not sure how that's possible with Viper's res collected. But I guess he's buying the upgrades as well, which I guess it kind of evens out here. Heart spending less on every vill. Clicks up the castle slightly faster, which means faster town centers, faster monastery. Pretty decent advantage there going into the castle age. And this is where the Hindustanis can start to catch up because they have the cheap bills. Mm -hmm. I think, I actually think against Burgundians, you have to go second and third town center before the monastery. If you okay. can do all of them, great, do it. Mm -hmm. But if you have to choose between delaying a monastery or not, I think you are delaying TC. You, you always choose to delay the monastery here See. because yeah, relics are important, but it's likely you're gonna lose some monks to the scouts anyways. So you can actually delay the monk production by a couple minutes in order to make sure those TCs are there. And then maybe the Vill count's not going to be, you know, the Vill count will bring you back in terms of resources mm -hmm. collected. Yeah, I, I do like that. I think going 3 TC right away. And honestly, on this map, you don't really need to rush the monastery because there's so many relics that, like, you're not denying all of them. There's yep. just no way, right? Yep. Uh, so going for a bit more, like, economy first approach could be a very interesting thing for Hart to consider here. Um, Bloodline's coming in, so he's going to go for some heavy, heavy cav units here. That is an advantage he gets that Burgundians don't, by the way, just Bloodline's for the light cav. Yeah, it's true. Stable upgrades are cheaper for Vipers, so he'll have that. But that's a good point there. And, and maybe a, potentially a camel mixed in. A lot of players won't yeah. do it because of monks, but the camels do attack faster as well. You know what Viper does that other players don't? So like when Hart had a low scout, he went for the 50-50. When Viper had a low scout, he just ran back. Yep, he wants no to heal risk. it. No risk. Yeah, he wants to heal it. And this is why he's so consistent with his tournament results because he doesn't take stupid risks. He'll take risks when he needs to. Yeah. Doesn't take stupid risks. Keeps it consistent, and he'll have two fully healed scouts. And look at that heart gets caught. Oh my god, Loses that's gotta scout. be so frustrating. I, I'm this is like the Viper special right yeah. here. <laughs> Burger and fries. He keeps his scout and he takes your scout later. Yeah. And this is and then he gets a slight boom. This is game yeah. one all over again yeah. with a different map and different play. Viper in his sweet spot, and, and you mentioned the draft. Hard had banned Arena because he knew Viper could get these tiny little economic advantages and scout advantages. Um, yeah, Hart banned Arena. Viper then picked Fortified Clearing, which is the most Arena-like map after that. Uh, really impressive what Viper has done. Uh, TC's right away from Hart. This is what we wanted to see. Makes sense for Viper with a bit more control to go for the Monastery. I will say, though, if you have to choose uh, which side you prioritize, uh, or or I, I guess uh, the other option would be go middle. Always go middle uh, okay. because the relics are closer together. Yeah. And it's just it's just easier to, to mm. control. You're not like going to the corners of the map all the time. Okay, Vi Vipers, is, we need to talk about this. Vipers going second monastery here at the back. This gives him double production for, for his monks. Good, huh. good pick off from, from Hart right there. But it also lets him put the relics at the back, which is huge. Because if you have the relics at the front, you lose an early imp to position. You lose all the relics. If if he has them at the back, a little bit more safety there. So are you saying like are you That's saying like move. the potential to shift the relics to the back, or you think he's I think gonna he's put, put them there from the start, save himself some I, time. Prediction: I think he's gonna he's gonna be it's gonna be split. Split. So the if the monk is closer to one, it's going to go to that one and maybe go to the other one. But that's a good yeah. point. Let's see. Because pushing middle, late castle age, early castle can be really big here. Yeah, it could happen. A couple spears from Viper might go down. Those got a lot of value, though. We did see them chop down a couple scouts from Hart. Hart has a vill lead here. Because Viper went double monastery, he delayed the third TC. Hart has an eighth vill lead. That's substantial here. Mm -hmm. Does have the TC outside his base as well. And Viper could run to some space issues. All his TCs on one screen here. And, I want to uh, see. I want to see early hand card from Viper. You research it mm. fast. Cheap. It's cheap. You have the resources. You're not going to use the resources on anything else right now. The I don't know. Camel. I just there's something satisfying about like 50 villager hand card. Mm. I don't know what it is. You don't encounter that situation too frequently, but I'm a big fan. Yeah, uh, hand cards just a really good upgrade. Also, like picking up early, you don't forget it. You don't yep. forget it. Like less things can go wrong. Feels, yep. Feels nice. Let's see if Hart can actually capitalize on this timing. He's chasing out those monks. Might get one. The relic gets away anyways. And here we go. Moment of Let's truth. See. Which monastery? Which monastery? Oh! No Suspense monastery. Suspense is building. <laughs> Does, doesn't even want it. <laughs> Suspense it's is building here. A couple monks from Hart. Might get some last minute conversions. Viper! Boom! Nah, bro. No That's way, my dude. boy. That's my boy. No, he's going no. to the front door. That's crazy. 
Wait, where is it? Oh, ah, my God. That go. was so close. I thought, like, we connected there. <laughs> I thought we had the same mentality. <laughs> go to the back, my brother, you know? Uh, oh, my God. That was that was actually really suspenseful. Yeah. It's as suspenseful well as suspenseful as a relic war could be. That was it right there, my friend. You're the go caster, bro. I got nothing <laughs> on you. What can I say? I admit defeat, you know. Well played. Viper's now hunting that that monk and a spear. Okay. We'll find the monk though. I don't think the spear's doing too much those two like yeah, Let's see what he can do. You are bringing the relic a bit closer to your base, which is the positive here. Hard yeah, to find yeah. another monk kill. Oh, God, that's optimistic, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the monk goes down, but the relic is closer to me now. Very nice. That, that's a big deal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of arena clowns in chat right now that are like, that's actually It matters. Thing. That's yeah. three tiles. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> a couple of relics on the outside as well, by the way. I don't know how much of the players' focus are on the outside. It seems like they're very heavily concerned about the middle relics right now. Yeah. But I do see some red around the outside. Viper is picking some of those up. Viper, this is his home map, so we can assume he's got a little bit more... Uh, let's say games played on it, yeah. and uh, I think it shows a little bit in just how he's prioritized the scouting, the monastery distribution. Yeah, double monastery is not something you see every day, but I think you you see it because Viper has so many freaking resources with the Burgundians. Mm -hmm. Hearts catching up, but I mean, Hart, who's had this villager lead ever since Castle Age, still hasn't caught up in res collected. Yeah, yeah. And the relics, of course, bring in resources too, so it's going to be really good for Viper here. Yeah, but relics in general bring in gold, but for Burgundians, they bring in food at the same rate. So yeah. it's like you basically have double relic, and it gives you gold and food, which is like super well balanced for like what you need for imp. It just it makes things so smooth in your economy here. Yeah, so it feels like you know the other aspect of the middle is that's the area players are likely going to push from. It's also awkward to pressure on those sides, at least with the main push. And the way the map is scripted, there's always going to be that big gold pile outside your walls. So players want TCs there, or castles. Right now, Viper pushing forward. And sometimes you'll see even double stable. A player like Tato really likes to add a second stable to really ramp up the light cap production. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could feel natural at some point for either player to add a barracks, but I think Imp would make a bit more sense before yeah. trying to switch fully into Pikeman. Here we see the handcar coming in. Light cap diving deep. And oh, no conversions! Yeah, that's oh a pretty big deal God. here. And yeah. Viper has the run all the way home, and those monks, Viper, be careful with that monk. It could open the gate, it could open the gate, the relic is in the gate. Oh and my God. the monk goes down, and the light cap gets away. Is that gate supposed to be open right now? I, 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 I have a memory of like a relic being in a gate, mm -hmm. and the gate is open, but I don't know. Was it a dream? Was it reality? <laughs> yeah, <I don't> know. <laughs> if you dreamed about that, that would be I, wild. Yeah, I, I actually assumed that the relic would like move away from the wall there. Or just keep the gate open. I don't, I don't know, know what the intended behavior is there. Yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. Not something you see every day, that's for sure. Viper about to click up the Imperial Age. Hard does seem to be a little bit further away. Give him a couple minutes and he'll get there for sure, though. Yeah, and this is where, this is where you're, you're thinking about unit comps. So, feels very natural for Viper to go help. Because you can combine yeah. that with so many other things. Because like you have to go Halb, or else Cam was on the field. Exactly. Yeah. So Halb is a must. With Burgundians, usually then hand cannons in combination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hindustanis. They have good Cav archers, which could be great against like Halb. You could you could still go for Hussars to raid the sides against the Halbs. You could. I think Gulam's probably off the menu, the unique unit. No, yeah. Versus Burgundian hand cannon here, that's suicidal. Yeah. Oh wait, Viper's going stables. Even though he saw the camels. So he's a, okay, so it's a mind, it's a mind game, game yeah. because he expects his opponent to expect Halb, mm -hmm. and he's going to then try and, and mix it. I mean, maybe both, actually, as we see Pikeman, but. Also, he might want to go Cavalier just to raid the side. Yeah, yeah. Throw Hart a curveball while then going Halb down the center. He is tagging Pike at the same time. He yep. could also be gearing towards a Paladin Halb composition for that, like, all in through the center as well. He's keeping his options open. I would like to see Hart play towards nine range hand cannon here. Yeah, okay, instead of CA, instead yeah, of yeah, yeah. We talked about it at the start. I think I think it's one of the better units, and I think Cavalchers are solid for the mobility, but hand cannon just pack a little bit more of a punch. Okay, go. what do you think? So, obviously it all depends here, right? But like you're later to imp right now, from what we yeah, can see, yeah. that's an issue because you got to wait for chemistry then. So yeah, does yeah. that factor into it if you think you're on later to imp? Uh, I, I think even with chemistry, you still get the hand, hand cannons before you get the cab archers. I think cab archers take a lot of upgrades, and okay. I don't know if Hart's just ready to, to go for that right now. Yeah. But both can be viable. Like I'm not even 100% sure in this. Like Both can definitely be viable. We'll see what Hart decides to go for. Could even just mix it up and open camel, for example, while waiting for chemistry. Could be a, okay. could be a play there. Okay. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> Wait, let him have the relic. <laughs> That's crazy. Where is he? Does he is he making a monastery in the back right now, like Viper did? Because why would the monk? Oh, I guess he was going in. I'm stupid. Sorry, he was going yeah, into that in. monastery. He used the back door and still got caught. Like this. <laughs> That's crazy. Viper's there. 
at the right time with the light cap. Now Viper has some Cavalier, shows them, and will lose a lot of those units, actually. Yep. A little bit, uh, a little bit strange there. Yeah. Very low upgrades for both players right now on their units. So those camels are going to be able to get the job done, no problem. A couple of pikes on the way. Viper's going to poke and prod at the sides. We do see a TC on the very left from him where there's a gold, so he's thinking about that. Yeah, and no, like, I expected, like, bigs, like, castle drop in the middle, lots of, like, siege workshops. None of that, really. That castle's on flat ground from Viper. That might be a first. There's a hill right next to it. <laughs> That's crazy. But it makes the stone inefficient. Oh, okay. Effic That's efficiency it. over hill. Listen, Burgundians, Burgundians they, they don't collect resources fast, you know? So. Yeah, <laughs> you got to keep the efficiency at a maximum there. Chemistry for Viper right away. Let's see what Heart clicks. If he clicks chemistry right away, that's indicative of Hank Kinnear. Has to be. Yeah. Heart click chemistry. Click chemistry, brother. He's waiting. He's 10 food. Drop it off. Chemistry's coming in. Dun, dun, dun. That's the, that's the university noise. Heavy camel. Do. Oh, heavy camel. And and chemistry. And there chemistry. Okay, okay. Picking up both. So playing towards camel, handkin or near, most likely. You can't really afford CA. There's no fletching coming in, so it's going to be handkin or near here. You know, I actually like Hearts late game more. I just like the fact that Viper's got six relics. I'm conflicted about it. Yeah. I think he, he also has the momentum on the sides. He's got the TC there. He's the one who's attacking there. I think Hearts kind of, it's like in his shell at the moment. I don't know if Hart really knows where to be. And that's going to be the problem. I think sometimes you just got to got to make a move. It's hard to say on a closed map, but try and make something happen. Be the one who sends the three. Remember those three light cap that's yeah, that yeah, yeah. You do that Take as well. Take the initiative. Yeah, yeah, try and do that. I think he might have tried it there and Viper had the halves, but you got to find those small moments because we saw in game number two that if Hart starts to control the game, he, mm -hmm. he really could do well with that. But again, Burgundians, dude, the res collect has continued to climb. Viper has five k there, collected yeah, five thousand more resources. That's insane. Um, heavy cam is on the field. The way I see it here is, if Viper's fighting at full force with the Halps and the Cav together, he's going to take good good fights. But if it's just like the Camel chasing Cav, then Hart is favored. Yeah. But Viper's got the push right now. He's got the siege. He's got the full composition they wants, which is like the Cav with the Halp at the same time. And I think the, the cannons do more damage for the Burgundians. That's a big deal. You push really fast. Let's see what Hart Ooh. can do. It's always a struggle when you have your buildings on the front like this. Yep. Also always a struggle if you don't have the Halb numbers here. Viper does, he does have enough Halbs if he can group them up properly. Hart just takes it. Uh, is I that think, a good fight? I, I think it's a good fight for Viper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you'd be right in that. I, mean, <laughs> I love how, so Hera, like, I, I, people can't see this. I'm probably doing it as well. <laughs> but, like, certain moments, Hera's, like, kind of lunging forward, really looking. He's like, is that good? I got to see. Uh, but I think, we can under, I think we can understand, though, like, it was it was close. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But Viper had just enough, which is so typical for him. And uh, Viper's going to know it's hand cannons. And he's, oh, God, he's got the treb on the ranges. He's got the bomber cannons on the ranges. Yeah. And what's he going to do? Small lead here? You just switch to the other side now. Yeah. Some, some raids on the other side. Uh, obviously, the pop defense is 30 right now. So, like, those units on the left side, Hart doesn't have the answer right now. He yeah. doesn't have the pop. And, okay, he's going for some some form of initiative here. Going for a cast on the left, looking to secure that gold. Uh, it just a question of how fast Viper can push this, because... Do we have the nine range on the hand? He did get it. He did okay, get we it. have it. So th that is our late game comp. Let's see if we can get there and stabilize this now to give ourselves a chance in late game. Yep. And Viper will see the castle on the right. The units on the left haven't actually dove in yet. The Viper clicking Paladin. I, I actually really like the Paladin play here. It's like, if this camels take one bad engagement, Paladin wins you the game. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I, I find a real issue with the hand cannons right now for Hart with his position is it's hit and run. And he's running further and further into a base that has already been half destroyed. He yeah. has never been able to push with it because of Viper's timings here. I, I don't hate this position for Hart, though. He's going to win every fight from now on. His comp is way better. And Viper's got the raids and Viper's got the timing, though. Let's see if Hart can stabilize this. It's such a tough task. But if he can stabilize this, oh, and some counter rating. That's good for him. Yep. If he can stabilize this, we got a game in our hands. Viper doing all he can to push fast. Prioritize the relics as well. Very smart. Yeah, there's a point where you know, they're always going to be producing more army as you're killing their villagers. There's a point where if, if the better comp gets up to like 60, 70 pop, it can fight everything back. With yeah, a couple yeah. siege siege weapons, it can start to push it back. But Viper, he's not going to give Hart any time on that gold. That castle will fall there for Hart. Hart's population down to 165. And Viper, if he starts to take bad trades here, Hera, he's going to have multiple castles spanning the center of the map to control from any counter attacks. 
Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch the Henkin near as well, because the Paladin could take good engagements, if, if not careful. The Camels have to always be babysitting the, the cannons in the back as well. It's a good play from Viper. Takes the fight. Oh, he gets around the other side, which could have blocked oh. the hand cannons. And there's a big oh shot, and the my. hand cannons are gone! Down. Oh, man. Oh it almost looks like they, they regrouped, you know? Like, they, yeah. they clicked them back, and they went for it. Oh, it was the so bad for Hart. That we did not need that. If you're cheering for heart, that's a bad sign right there. Honestly, to celebrate, Viper should click the button. See what happens. See what happens. <laughs> GG, okay. No, he's not going to click no the time button. For the you're, button. The, you're the only button. You and Lee are the only button clickers in NAC uh, history, I think. I but. got it nerfed. You're welcome. You're welcome, viewers. I got it nerfed. <laughs> you did get it nerfed. GG, well played, though. GG, well played. I mean, listen, on paper, in my opinion, that was a very Viper esque map. Mm -hmm. And I think the Burgundians are just superior. I, I, I think they are. I, I get yeah, your yeah. late game. But in terms of like the flow of the game, it's really hard to compete. Like Hart had to find good engagements. Viper doesn't take bad engagements very frequently, mm -hmm. and and that was clear. I, I, a, I think a like comment back and forth, and I wonder what they're talking oh, about they're there. But Viper said something. Yeah, they might have been talking about the game a little bit. We saw a lot of chatting with uh, Doubt and Leary earlier. They were having a good time. I really wish they were mic'd up. Yeah, I want to know what they were saying. It would be quality. I mean, I can imagine when it comes to Doubt. I mean. I, I would have won if it wasn't for that one unit. Yeah, yeah. It's always like that. <laughs> to me, to me, it seemed like Doubt was talking to Leary like he would talk to a practice partner yeah, yeah. When they, after they finish a game, which I'm not sure you should do if it's not your practice partner, but I guess at like, that point... You know in chess, like it's always like Magnus versus Hikaru, and after the game, they just like talk and they point at the board, and then they just understand each other. Like, it always <laughs> yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, always sure. happens. I think I, Leary had this look, though, where he was like soaking up information and he wasn't giving anything back. Mm -hmm. He was like, uh-huh, laughing, a couple comments. Letting that talk. Leary's just like, yeah, yeah, keep talking, <laughs> keep talking, dude. Yeah, that's fun, that's fun. I mean, I, I do like the player, uh, you know, back and forth. I think it's really interesting. Hart, oh, Viper just has to get up. Hart, stone cold. Remember, Staying after down. game three, established five-minute break. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try something here. Against me, ACCM ran to go <laughs> yeah, smoke. <because> he, he was <laughs> like, I got to get as many cigarettes in as possible. That was crazy. We told the whole story. Viewers loved it. It was so funny. All right, production. I want to try something with this background. Let's make the most of this. Okay. Okay, so can you do the thing where we're, like, moving with the ship, and when they do it, we need to, like, look for land? Oh, uh, uh, this way. Wait, wait no. What? That, what? Wait. Okay, so come on. You know. No, when when we... I'm looking for T90's farm right now. <laughs> that was probably horrible, wasn't it? <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I couldn't know. see it. We weren't looking, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. That's all. That's all I've got. If there was a plank, we could like we could like walk off the plank, but there's no plank. So whoever did this screwed up. Yeah, we definitely needed a plank there. Oh, we're just flying around now. <laughs> Crazy. Feels like we're a part of a really old game in an arcade, and like they someone's trying to shoot a gun at us right now. As and we're, we're dodging. <laughs> yeah. I actually like those old games, though. I'm, I mean, big surprise to play AOE, but uh, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is around. great. Yeah, people paid money for this. People worked the job. They went to work. They clocked in. Mm -hmm. They learned a craft, potentially. And all that work was put into putting that on screen. I mean... What like, a better way to spend your money. Here's the thing. like You buy a gold watch, right? You spend your money on that, and then uh -huh. you lose it. It's gone forever. This moment, it's never going to go. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> it's burned into the internet. Forever. 13,000 people watching. Everyone remembers this moment. Okay, next question. Have you lost a watch before? No. Okay, I was uh, going to say, because a watch I, you put on, it's like... I don't pay for watch. I pay for this. I'm one of those guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I pay for. Oh, man. I mean, one of the, thing, one of the things, it was like astronomical to, to add it in. But, like, I was really hoping someone would go crazy and add, like, a really meme map and make Nilly have a hard decision, right? Because it yeah. was like you could add a map to the prize pool. Tato and Doubt have talked about Forrest nothing more than they've talked about anything else in the back room. <laughs> so I, I mean, we were joking about it. It's like it's $20,000 to add a map. It's, it's a big sum of money. But imagine, like, 4-4, four, four, you're going to the grand finals. Viper with a donation, $20,000. <laughs> boom, map of his choice on the spot. Ooh, that would Huge be play. interesting. If Huge you could play. add it on the fly. On the fly, like... That almost needs to be. That's like pay to win to the next that needs, level. <laughs> that needs to be. Ooh, that is that's a that's a show match or tournament idea right yeah, there. That would be wild. Yeah, uh, I I I'd, I'd have to save up for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that that could be rough. <laughs> that could be rough. Oh man. Well, we'll have our third game here soon. Hard taking his break, but you know, game two felt very similar to game number one that he lost against Viper. And that tells me that he can easily bounce back, control the game, and, and tie the series up 2-2. We have not had a game five yet today for the first day of NAC. True. Makes sense, I think, with how the seeding situated. Um, I, 
I would like to see it. I'd like mm-hmm. to see it. And I think my question now is Hart. Loves Arabia, picked Arabia, draft Arabia. I think mm-hmm. his, his number one sieve, or I guess number three or whatever, is Inca is probably for Arabia. Um, what do you do, do? You go for your best map in game four to tie it up, or do you go for your best map? Do you save it for game five? Mm, in my opinion, you take Arabia right now because I, I, if it comes to a tiebreaker, you want to have the second win. Let's assume Hart wins Arabia, right? And he's got more chances on Arabia. You want the win. Even if you lose 3-2, better losing 3-1. The, t- the, the one game could be a tiebreaker down oh, the yeah. line. It's, That's it's true. a possibility. That's true with this format. Yep. yep. Also, bragging rights. You lost to Viper by one game. It was so close. You write your own narrative. But you got 3-1, eh. Ew. Yeah. Easy set for yeah, Viper. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, Viper is trolling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No one remembers that game. Yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> you, you definitely need the second win if you're hard here. And I think okay. you go Arabia, you, you just get into your comfort zone, and you just see what happens. You don't want to play African read bets, you know, deal with some crazy strat, lose, and then be like, oh, like, what, what would happen in Arabia, you know? Do we see Vietnamese, Huns, or Bohemians on Arabia from Viper? I would lean towards Vietnamese here, but then it leads me greater questions. Mm-hmm about African reed beds. Think you go Bohemian. Okay, l- l- this is how Viper thinks, okay? I know you won the Relic War with the Monastery. <laughs> Th- this is how Viper thinks. Trust me. I'm on, I'm on his team. I know, I know how he thinks. All right. <laughs> a, whole, a whole 12 hours, he already understands the We talked the so much. We talk, uh, theory was off the charts. Yeah. He goes Vietnamese on African reed beds. Why, you might ask? Because Gilnets <laughs> is on discount, and he's in a fish. That alone will make him go Vietnamese on African reed beds. And he goes, doesn't even matter, bro. Arabia... Huns or Bohemians doesn't matter. You pick it. He just wants to save on Gillnets. So he, I mean, you seen him play Black honestly, Forest? Honestly, honestly, he he's obsessed with the fish boom. He loves it. I te- he drafted me for the Black Forest tournament. Oh, really? Yeah, it was interesting. You choice. didn't you didn't hear? But you, no. Wait, wait. Interesting choice to pick me. It, it, hey, it's it could, to be it could be good. Viper. We're it, supposed to be dissing him, not me. I was saying it could be a good choice. It, very interesting. Yeah, like, you said really interesting. It, <laughs> you, you guys didn't see his face, but I did, and I'm just like <laughs> you know sinking right now. Okay. Anyways, he picked you on the on the team. Yeah, and like Viper's <laughs> like, if there was a pond. He's like. I get pond. <laughs> no like, matter what. I get pond. <laughs> He's just like, listen, I'm, I'm Viper. I get pond. He's just based, obsessed with fish booming. So. Based, yeah, I understand. I mean, I've seen his YouTube videos. He goes crazy with uh, with the fish booming there. So, I, listen, I think Vietnamese for African read beds, it looks like they're hopping into the game here. Let's see if we can jump in and uh, see what they're playing. It, it could be Arabia, of course. Yeah, and, yeah. But, you know, we could use process of elimination. And it is going to be Vietnamese on Arabia. God, I'm 0-2 on Viper. Yeah. Really? Oh, I am Hera. I understand Viper. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm literally the Viper at home, but like a budget version that doesn't work. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of sad. Well, you know, not to, not to rub it in, but prior to your whole gloating session there, I did predict Vietnamese on Arabia. You did. You're not the goat of casting. It is yeah, what it is. Not, not to rub it in. Uh, but, <laughs> but, I mean, Inca's on the other side here for heart. Yeah. Really strong civilization. Uh, extremely flexible. They, they get the llama, which is, of course, great because... Llama Jam with, with good old heart there from Peru. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, that food, the savings on pop space with the house, not needing to build as many houses leads to some level wood savings and then cheap units. Um, great save. They cannot make scouts, though, so mm-hmm. that option's kind of off the menu. I would lean more towards maybe like an archer build, but we have seen a lot of spearmen skirm play from the Incas. Yeah, true. What do you think about that? I mean, th- that's a strategy that recently became very popular. I made a YouTube video about it describing the whole thing because it, it popped up recently a couple months ago, and people have been loving it. Um, it. Probably not the time for Incas to use it right now because Vietnamese have great skirmishers. Yeah. So I- I'd expect to see some like archer eagle play from Incas. Plays a bit more towards like what Vietnamese have trouble dealing with, but Vietnamese can do just about anything on a radio. Could you see... A frush here. We have not seen a single frush. The two militia little French yeah, drush. Yeah. I think it's good. I think if you like doing it, you go for it. Yeah. Um, but it's not something like, oh, I really want to see it right now. It's, yeah. It doesn't get me too excited. But if yeah. you like that style, you go for it. It's not bad. It's not great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, there's good, the barracks. I was looking at the wood there. I've seen a million games from Hard on Arabia. So my brain was kind of like, eh, could make sense. And then, again, it kind of... If you still want to go skirm spear, having the two militia kind of helps with that because yeah, yeah. you don't feel like you're playing into skirms against better skirms if you've added something prior to. That's how my brain sees it. But yeah. you're insane, by the way. You call Viper, you call Hearth, calling everything right now. Yeah, and then I have I have like wooden wrists. <laughs> <laughs> no hands. I can't miss click. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'm so happy, by the way. Uh, you were mentioning earlier uh, we talked about the games you casted to mind. Like, yeah, yeah. Ago. I'm so happy that. That people got to witness my comment, the Dragon Star. Do you remember? Because when I went back, of course, I was like, "Oh God, why did Hera watch those games? It's so bad." <laughs> then he said, "Like top potential top 20." I was like, "No way from that game." <laughs> but I was like, I was like, I asked Dragon Star like how he's doing, 
And I was like, and he's like, oh, not that, not that good. How about you? I was like, I was like, the mind is, uh, the the body's weak, but the mind is ready. Or yeah, something yeah. Like that. <laughs> I remember that now. <laughs> I relate to that so much, dude. <laughs> you, uh, you're just in the right mentality, but who knows what the body's up to? And given day. I guarantee you, there's so many people here. They could type ones in our chat. They're wa gonna watch this tournament. They're like, yeah, my brain is on fire. I'm clicking. I'm predicting things. I'm ready. Yeah. They're gonna load into the game. They're gonna play a game, and they're just gonna be like, oh god, this is I, I can't like, I, I can't keep up. You know? Oh, for sure. For there's sure. obviously practice involved in that. Don't quit, people. I'm just saying that at every level. I think so people can kind of relate to the beauty of the game and then how sometimes it could it could fall apart on you. Hearts picking up three militia, by the way. And Viper's not scouting him because yeah, he Viper's just he knows about where his base is. Mm -hmm. Gonna go Vietnamese. straight there. Yeah. So he's like, okay, all right, we'll get there late. But getting there late could be a problem here yep, if he doesn't yep. pick up on this. Scouting the gold doesn't doesn't give it away. This could be Eagles. Yeah. Another Civ, this is Men at Arms. But this could just be Eagles. Viper's not gonna think twice about this. He I, also I, saw two villagers instead yeah, of three. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Now we're gonna see the men. Oh, arms that here. eagle needs to be there though. This could be against huge. Viper. Viper is the quick go quick wall guy though. Also, I could see a trap happening there in some way, yeah, shape, or yeah. form. Oh Let's boy. This is this is where we get to see if Viper has his quick wall fingers ready for NAC5. <laughs> okay, there's one. Oh, oh. He wants to oh, I, I'm gonna sensing go a trap. trap, dude. I'm sensing a trap. That villager's moving suspiciously far to the right, and in the end, Viper gets the quick walls down. Oh, uh, dude, heart, don't go in there, dude. If there's a trap, you go for it right now. Oh, uh, don't oh. go in there. Don't go in there. Oh, he thought about it. He was it. so close. Oh, he could have got a gate there. Then he wants to go for it, man. But that's like the Viper effect, right? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. Like, it affects how you attack. It affects the options you even go for. But I do like the, the push anyways. Is, is put Viper's focus on this. He's invested resources into it. I think if I'm not wrong, his range is that. Oh, no, he's got a stable. Sorry. Um, so he is going to be making scouts. Mm -hmm. But yeah, wild stuff from Viper. He could have easily lost two bills. Yeah, I like to mention that actually, because like if you think about that situation, one one misstep and you're down one two bills. The game could just end on the spot. So yeah. he Viper's playing with fire, and uh, let, let's see what Hawk can do after this. The men arms are still alive, right? They're still yeah. value. Is there a tree between those two palisades of Viper's wood line? It's the the northern lumber camp. Let's see the bills walking I think towards. There's a yeah, it's a tree. Okay, there's Stop a tree. It. Okay. Yeah, it looked like it could have been a hole there. Range for Viper with his scouts. Might not have even scouted that much of Hart's base at this point. Hart's going to follow this up with Spearman and an Archer soon. Can we take a look in between Viper's aggression here, in between Viper and Hart's base? So Hart can move out with an Archer, but if he does, he could get picked out. That's, That's when he nice. sends a Spear. Yeah. He sends a Spear as well. So that Archer's going to come hit the Ville. Now Ooh. we see a Spear at home. Viper eats one hit. Yeah, didn't seem like that was intentional from Viper. As Viper moves out with the Skirms, this gets spotted. And it's going to be tricky for that Villager to save himself here. That Archer is doing the job pretty nicely. Oh, and that. Hart also with some great hits here on Viper Scouts. That Spear's determined. And hold, hold on. Hold on. Hart's, Hart's not going to yep. let him get away with that one. Beautiful and there's another play one. from Hart. There's another That's one. That's going to be blocked as well. Can Viper Ooh. quick wall it? The Skirms could actually block, and in the end, Hart backs away. But this has been amazing aggression from Hart against Viper. Yeah, and there could be one more here. The Men-at-Arms are doing massive damage. If you can get the block, another fill down. Two fills down. This is this big is damage. This, this is, is huge. damage. And I got to say, on some level, it does snowball back to mm -hmm. Viper using the Vietnamese bonus to be a little too greedy, perhaps, right? Yeah. It's not scouting. And also, the meta right now is not Men-at-Arm heavy. 100%. So that's yeah. part of it. Yeah, yeah, no one's going meta arm as their main strategy. So Hart mixing it back into the meta. This is how the meta develops through the tournament, guys. And now maybe we see a third villager. That should be a dead villain. It should be two hits uh, from the eagle, and he's gone. and he's dead. Yep. Wow. Three villagers killed against Viper, even though Viper got quick walls down. Yep. And now, like the, the beauty of Hart as a player is you know there's very few players in the world that can get those kills mm -hmm. but his eco is actually perfect behind this yeah, like, yeah. I have no doubt I'm not even looking at it I'm sure that once we take a look over there in a moment that he's going to have plenty of farm set up and his eco is going to look beautiful yeah, look dude at that's that. it. it's yeah. insane there's so like, well done honestly yeah. there's you and Hart I think are the best at that with that like one little like archer little militia aggression and then having that type of farm setup that is beautiful disagree never make a militia in my life <laughs> <laughs> okay okay sorry sorry, sorry. <laughs> you, know, you can't catch me on that arm <laughs> but yeah i mean he, he you know hard does a really good job putting the pressure keeping the eco clean at home now he's got the eagles coming out as well i would like to see more on gold and potentially a cell stone from hard the game yeah. is wide open both players fully open there's no walls this could be like a, a really nice setup into all in eagles yeah i think the, the the nice thing here though is Viper can't actually make double militaries. He loses an archer. He can't go scout archer. So it's kind of weird that he had to go like scout skirm and now he's back into archers. The the flow of the game's not there for him. So if that 
with three or four on gold, you can still produce skirmishers or archers out of one range in combination with an eagle here or there. Military council can looking nice. Yeah, we saw real quick on the screen there the stats. These are two of the three strongest civs on Arabia. And mines, of course, left out there as the third. Uh, so you know these guys definitely picking some good civs here. Haven't seen my Dravidians on Arabia yet, but maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I'll surprise everyone with those. Yeah, we are going to see infantry armor now from Hart, so it is, it, it is going to be some eagle mix in. Yeah, it's going to be tough for Viper. Hart's just tracked him the whole way through. It's been an interesting series, right? It's like Viper gets his got his wins on the closed strategical maps. The more open it is, the better Hart has been, especially early Feudal. But he called off Viper big time here. And Viper's still trying to recover from this, and he, he's trying to find a way to, to move out past that wood line. It also hurts that Viper went double lumber camp on this area. True. The area he's been yeah. pressured on. He has not had a safe wood line to work with at all. Yeah, that's true. Double lumber camp on the same. It's like, it's a win big if you can protect it, or lose big if yeah. you get pushed off it, and all of a sudden it gets really awkward here. Is that a second range or a second barracks from Hart? I kind of missed that one. I think it was the barracks. Second barracks. We're going to see heavy eagle play. Does still have some range units alive, though, which are going to be a nice mix and a nice complement to those eagles. Yeah, I think... The, the, the worry here for Hart, if there is one, is he doesn't have many archers. His ranged units will become less effective if Viper commits to more and more scouts. And Viper's archers are in high enough mass, at least for the time being, that could change to snipe any eagles, too. And eagles do take a long time to produce, so if you're going for double barracks, it could be tricky. Viper's micro has been insane yeah, here. Yeah, crazy He's got an micro. amazing fight. And, and if there's scouts remaining, all the skirmishers are going to go down as well here for Hart. And that is maybe... a little bit of a way back for Viper across that the was, map. That was really, Hart didn't play bad, but just Viper played really, really well there. Taking a good trade. Obviously, Hart ends up still decent. It's, it's not like Hart gets cleaned up 100%. Yep. Definitely a good trade for Viper, though. Yeah, and, and, and now we're seeing more skirms playing into the, towards the scouts. This actually isn't bad. If you're going to lose these guys, you just go in and you kill as many archers as possible. Yeah. Actually, misjudging it completely. He's not gonna. He's not gonna lose them now at all. He had the eagles reinforcing because of the yep. second barracks. Yep. yep. And, and now he's got two in queue, so it should have be more on the way. And and I just expected a little bit more from Viper, but the economic blow he took earlier, mm -hmm. combined with the need for so much army, because Hart is always sending forward more units. It's made things really tough for the snake. Yeah, like the three vills, those, that's the difference between 700 rest collected basically right now. Yep. Obviously factoring some idle time here and there, but the three vills so early in the game, it just snowballs so much. And now Hart's taking better and better trades. He's following up with more army. And I just feel like if he can get like four eagles together, yeah. I think it can be really hard to stop. Yeah, I mean, Viper's producing out of his range. He's producing out of his stable. Viper would need another building as he does separate the skirms oh. from the eagles here. Oh. And now all of the skirms are going to be picked off. Viper oh. with a few. Oh. Oh. Uh, Viper with a good enough play. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, I was still pretty good. <laughs> Yo, the viewers, <laughs> viewers like that one. Viewers like that one. That was sick. That was sick. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously went wrong there at the end, but still a good play. Managed to pick up three skirmishers out of the six, and now Hart's reinforcing. Yeah, Vil count is somehow even now. Okay, we see the wheelbarrow coming in now from Hart as well, so a little bit deceiving there. But Viper still has good resources. Maybe he'll click Castle H faster somehow here. Yeah, seriously, somehow is yeah. the word. Somehow is the word, right? Like, Ooh, it, he's it, in the market as well. To, to macro this well after losing the three Vils and having to to kind of be on this razor's, ed razor's edge, mm. barely staying alive here is really impressive. You do still have the worry of army comp in the long term, but Scout Archer is not a bad army comp. As we've seen, if those skirms get caught out at all, could be problematic here for Hart. I, I wouldn't mind if Hart just backs up a little bit, waits a bit till Castle Age. Because the thing is, those eagles get an instant upgrade in Castle, yep. whereas Viper has to make the Knight or make the Light Cap tech or the Crossbow tech, whereas the eagles get the extra three attack right away. A Viper heavy on gold here. Goes to the back wood line as well, wants to play it a little safer. Really impressive. I mean, the best players, they're, they're going to get caught out, but they find a way to turn it around. Mm -hmm. And right now, it looks like Viper has given himself a chance to do so. More quick walls here. Those eagles are not going to get through. The skirms won't kill villagers over top the houses. I think Hart's hesitant to run past there, too. He knows if he runs between that mill yeah, and loop yeah. in to kill vills, he'll probably get trapped or something. It's like a bait. It's just waiting oh, to happen. Oh, man. You've got to be thinking. Oh. You've got to be thinking. I don't see Viper's army. Those archers might be coming by oh, base. He broke and he's in? actually through. What? That is not something I expected here. Eagles don't break that fast. And Viper might have misstepped there. Who knows what happened, but Viper... And there's no archers The now. archers are out of position. Yeah, the on archers vacation. are out of position. They need to counterattack now more than ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't go back. The damage yeah. is done. Go home. He can't actually uh, move him forward the in the proper time. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 
And now Hart has more time to realize those archers should be on the way. And if yeah. I'm not wrong, he's walling and he has all his new army waiting mm -hmm. right at his base. This is beautiful play from Hart. That was so good. It's like surprising that he was able to get those additional villager yeah. kills. But oh. he continues to pressure and he oh. continues to make sure that Viper is is up against it. As he tries to go through again and there's a bit of a hole there and Viper's going to have more problems with this That's army. That's crazy. I want to talk about it real, real quick. Hart realized Viper's army is not there. He walls up at home. He, he did that, that's pure intuition, and then he continues to attack. He knows, he didn't see it, he just knows Viper's army is counter-attacking. That is a genius play from Hearts, and he's gonna be capitalizing on it. 30 seconds to cast this though, maybe keep the Eagles alive. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yep, if, he yep, can, yep. if he can wait to take any more fights, another 15 seconds, all those villagers die. Oh, Viper boy. though, the gold is right there. If he can get there, that could be huge. But this is where Hart needs the quick wall. Yeah, quick wall. <laughs> Hart needs the quick walls, all the timing. Okay, seven but attacks. The Eagles, oh, the Eagles are so strong. And yeah, you're off of gold, crazy. you're off of wood, How? and then on the other side, Hart is holding. Wall. Yeah, this that is, is huge. Beautiful. This is the, one of the best Arabic games we've had in tournaments in a, wall, in a long time here. Very, very nice. Very high level play. Very back and forth. And we see plus two armor from Hart committing 100% to the Eagles here. And he really goes crazy here. He goes plus two armor first. He's probably going to click the Eagle Warrior upgrade. He, he probably feels like right now, Viper can't reinforce that army on the front. So yep. if he could just rush the engagement over the next minute or so, he could potentially like really snowball this game. At this point, he clears Viper's army, and it might be GG. Yeah, yeah. This is this is Viper's last, basically last, last hope. Because yep. look at the economy. Everything's on gold. The economy is not set up to add anything else. He's got six on wood, zero stone. There's no no development there. It's all on this army. If he gets damage, there's a chance. If he gets nothing, it's game yeah, over. Yeah, just don't. If you're hard here, you don't want this army to somehow get through and get yeah, past yeah, your yeah. gold. So you got to be ready to drop a house or something. Mm -hmm. Like right now, you drop the house. Don't let it get through. Oh boy. Oh. Well, not the, ideal. Actually, this is not the worst for Viper. It's hard yeah. to say. No Eagle Warrior upgrade. Yeah, yeah, he's missing that's 10 seconds. Um, but I don't I don't think I it's think enough. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. In Hart the end, enough. Hart's going to clean it up. I mean, Hart can lose so many villagers and still be ahead. And now Viper sits at home, he's going to have some cav archers on the way, which I think is great with Vietnamese some knights. But it is going to be a real struggle for Viper to build up a lot more knights, I think. Yeah, yeah. And the CA really do need time to get a, a bigger mass. And now Hart's actually walling up the left-hand side, just playing it extra safe. He recognizes he's got a little bit of a lead and just wants to not take too much damage uh, from unnecessary counterattacks here. Once he can consolidate his eagles and get into the same spot and start putting pressure, that could be huge. Viper's on CA, though. Yeah. Okay. I, I like Vietnamese Cav Archers a lot. I also think CA against Eagles can be good if you get to like 25 of them, which is a lot right now. But but like you get to a point where you're easily two shotting them. Yep. And uh, you know you're only spending wood and gold to mass these things. Mm -hmm. So I, I think there's a world where CA could work. The worry for Viper though is he's just down so far economically, and he's also not walled. He's like, not walled. You didn't really solve the problem. Uh, we can't fight Eagles. Yeah. They're gonna run through everything. Yep. We talked about the the TC is basically not threat. Uh, yeah, and he should run through. Okay. I, I think Hart yeah, should yeah. be running through there. Just go right to that gold. A little yeah. surprised he hasn't done so. But maybe he doesn't want to waste army now because he will know. He has the lead, and he can take Viper to the fifth game here if he keeps this up. He's going to add a TC as well. That's pretty smart. Buys back the stone. He, he, oh, well, good micro with the, with the monk there as well. Baits Viper in to try to snipe the monk. Just moves out of the way. Starts the conversion again. Very good micro. Hard is, Hard is incredible. Yeah, yeah. He's incredible. It really is. Like... He, he, what he did in the qualifier was incredible, but first time he's played 1v1 at a LAN, and he's up against Viper. Like, what we're seeing here is truly special. And conversion comes in. I'm sure the Monk will go down, but that that's still reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Good value there. And uh, you know, Viper still one TC at home. You'd expect that. Let me tell you something about Hart real quick. Yeah. He wants maximum value from his wood line. Doesn't leave a single tree. <laughs> he, it, it's like he wants a good deal, you know? I am, I am very concerned about the wood situation, though. I do like the new TC he's just placed, though. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to be good. That stone. That also protects that opening for Cav Archers kind of looping by there. Which is how they've been coming in as well. Yeah, very yep. nice. Ooh, and good walls there. Yep. Yeah, and, you know, thankfully being Incas, you do get the armor on your villagers as well in Castle Age. So you're going to survive some of those shots. Gives you time to react. Hart moving forward to Viper's base. Viper sees this. You would expect Viper's micro to be superior. He's got the faster units, but then also he's not booming at all. So it's likely that the unit control should look pretty smooth for Viper. Just can he get the numbers? A uh, hole in the, in the, in the woodland as well here. 
you know, this feels like Viper has some kind of like play here. Yep. It's not pretty. Obviously, the stats are all in favor of Heart, but it looks like Viper has somewhat of a chance. He's getting ballistics. The Cavalry is going to be super accurate against those moving Eagles now. A and I feel like if Heart takes this lightly, he could lose. Yeah, it, it, honestly, and it could be a classic Viper comeback yep, here, yep. right? 20 villagers down. But he's got cav archers, he's got ballistics, and he, you know, he's he's microing pretty well. And obviously here, Hart will be relatively happy with the fact he's keeping Viper at home and yeah. killing a villager or two. He also knows about ballistics now. He yeah. should, or he should, at least he should if he's paying attention. I think I think scorpions needs to be the best, the next play from Hart here. Mm. Mix in two to three scorpions with yeah. the eagles. Oh, yo, and, you're insane! Yeah, you're like, I mean, <laughs> it's not my best call out ever. I mean, <laughs> uh, after after what we saw, you're four zero on call outs. I impressive. mean, he might he might go siege tower. It could be Siege Tower. <laughs> jump over like the side. <laughs> if you could crazy. jump over trees with Siege Towers, that would be uh, you can't, maybe you, viable. Bro, you can barely jump over Palisades. Those things don't work, I'm convinced. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, two TC set up for Heart, defensive Scorpions, maybe even a third town center. He's mining stone towards like a castle here. It's not common to go two TCs into a castle, but if you're worried against an all in, you could figure I already have a big lead. Yeah. I've killed a lot. I'm on two TCs, he's on one. If there's going to be a snowball coming on maybe a gold or something, let's just prep for that castle earlier. Yeah. yeah. Um, could be pretty decent. Oh, this is not good for heart. Oh man, all those eagles are dead. What? Am I Wait, am what? I wrong there? I thought I would I would just sit in the choke. Is what do you think? Uh, I guess Viper doesn't want to lose his mass, so he's playing a little safe. I thought you could just, just like sit trap there. them. Yeah. Yeah, just sit. Um, heart kind of gets away there. Um. It, we'll keep those eagles. Can he easily heal them up later if he wants to as well. Viper's building up some CA though, so maybe that's what he's kind of prioritizing. Yeah, it's about to be 25, soon 30. Because, like, if he doesn't get value, right? Heart is scaling towards a, a way better leg. If he gets imp at any point here and Viper's in castle, the CA are useless. Yeah. They're doing one damage to the eagles. And Heart has seen enough to know that Viper's on one TC. I don't think Hart thinks he has a 30 vil lead. He would probably yeah, say, yeah. based on the score, maybe like 15, 20. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's kind of, you don't really think about the number as a player. You just think, I have more Vils. Yeah. I have more TCs. But, but they, I mean, it's a significant eco lead. It, look at the resources collected. 5,000 more resources at this yeah, point. Yeah, this game is also really hard for Viper to play, but because he's got to micro the CA uh, you know, for the uh, for the offense, but then also defend with CA, keep yep. them running. Yep. As soon as you start slipping up, you're losing CA all over the place. But, you know, how many times have we seen players get a lead? And then they stay at home and they don't move out thinking, I have the lead, we protect now. Hart's not doing that. Yep. And so it's not, it's making Viper's life more difficult in the attacks. Yeah. Because all these cab archers have to go home and we're seeing it right now. Viper is completely overwhelmed. And we, we with Hart having a 50 population lead, getting a couple scorpion hits here, he's one good fight away from taking to a game five. Viper, knowing that, is going to try and force the issue, but he cannot do that. Yeah, though. the scorpions, the monks, the eagles, this is crazy. The eagles from Hart. Oh! oh! Oh, oh, oh geez, my God! Debated. <laughs> that oh. villager, that villager might have been working for Hart there. Castle on the hill, a little ambitious though. Also, that's like a small hill. Like, I think you go to the top there. If you're gonna go there, you just go to the top, right? Uh, probably needs the gold. Yeah, maybe Main just gold's the gold. looking a little yeah. awkward. Spending a lot of gold. Viper will see this. Viper will be licking his lips, and this could be the moment for Viper, maybe. There's four scorpions though, Hera, and there's it's no tough. answer to the scorpion. So I think yeah. I think it's gonna be really difficult for Viper to stop this. He castle. also keeps getting converted, like conversion here and there, kind of thins out the CA. Eagles are so annoying. Eagles are so cheap as well. You get the Inca discount as well. Castle will probably go up, and uh, just feels like Hart is cementing his lead. The the longer this goes, the more vils he's up. He's at 40 vils. I feel more confident now in Hart yeah. than I did 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think right at this point, it feels like he should have enough. To, to do whatever he wants. His resources are so good. Viper, though, microing down the scorpions. Never ideal to have to do this, but the way he has his units grouped is allowing some uh, some level of success here. Yeah. But there's a crazy hype train on the stream right now. Big thank you to all the community members who are supporting Nilly and the tournament. I think if you get to hype train 15, maybe ask Nilly to host NAC6. We'll see. We'll see, <laughs> chat. We'll see. But uh, yeah, yeah, much appreciated with the, with the support. Meanwhile, there. we have the anti hype train in Viper's Eco. These villagers are building quick walls and being pulled off of work for the hundredth time. And we will go to a game oh. five. Viper being taken to the brink here in the first round. And Hart looking strong here, Hera. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Look, look, he's not shaking. A little bit of shake? I've seen, no, I've seen some shake. A little bit, but still good form. I'd say 9 out of 10 for the drinking. 9 out of 10. Okay. Um, he's feeling confident. I'm telling you, he's stone cold. 2-2. Two, two.
this is as good as possible. Like this is what Hart wanted. He just wanted to make it competitive, and and give himself a chance at the victory. And yep. this could really be a three-two win for him. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, in this Swiss stage, right? Um, it getting a win against the Viper, who is it, most likely going to be favored to get wins in tomorrow's set and and beyond. That really helps you with the overall rankings because there's this very complicated tiebreak system essentially. But to 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 dumb it down, basically, it's uh, you, if there is a tie, it, it basically comes back to how strong your opponents were and how strong your opponents were. It's not based on anyone's opinion or anything. It's based on their results uh, and their wins and whatnot. So Nilly's having a chat. Yep, Nilly having a chat with them. Hopefully everything's good. More donos flying in here. Uh, with the donos, guys, I don't know the number. There used to be a ticker at the bottom. We might have that up, but. Uh, we are much closer than we were at the start of the day to covering all of Nilly's cost. And once we do that, it adds to the prize pool here for the players. But we'll see if, if this is Oh, relevant. I think they're saying it's cold or something because it is freezing in there. Like, it's so cold. Oh, you cold. were saying yeah, that yeah, earlier. It's yeah. so cold. I wish I could have some of that here, dude. I'm sweating, dude. <laughs> I'm just freaking sweating. It's all these lights and what. Yeah, dude, if you could open the window. All right, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's funny because it makes sense. Like all these people out here know you have a couple PCs on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got people in the room. It warms up. There, it's used periodically, mm -hmm. and it's just two people. So oof, if it, now if you get cold, I apologize. But nah, it's all good. It's all good. You you've been the better caster, so you have to say <laughs> <laughs> my third set of the day, dude. I need I need a I need a rush of cold air. Yeah, three sets. That's, that's, you've been playing some weight. Here. I, I like that. Okay, it's six thousand one hundred and twenty dollars to break even. By the way, so I was at eleven k, I think, to start the day. So uh, seriously, insane what this community has done. It was actually yeah above that. But yeah. all right, game five, big one. Uh, players are gonna warm up. Maybe maybe they should do some jumping jacks or something to to warm up a little shadow bit. Shadow box, shadow box, <laughs> shadow box. I've been talking about it all day. <laughs> Before a big set, you just start shadow boxing. Keeps you warm, gets you the killer mentality. The other guy's going to play a game. You're going into the cage. You know, you're ready to fight, and that's the best kind of mentality you can have. <laughs> just start shadow boxing. It's not cringe. It's okay. not cringe. It's uh, Hera. Anytime anyone's ever said it's not cringe, whatever was said before that has always been cringe. Okay. Maybe. I'm just saying it was good. You were good. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought it was cringe, but then you said it's not. Cringe. Well, they were making fun. Of it. They said it was cringe. Like, like the, some of the other players. Yeah, like hard to be honest. He said it was cringe, but okay. I suggested it. I said maybe bring it up. But anyways, it's um, you know. a question though. Yeah. So, what period of time are we talking about for this shadow box? Are you listening to music? Are you listening to Rocky? Do you have gloves on? I mean, are you can. You? No gloves. No. no gloves. <laughs> it's like improv. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get geared up. No. I'm, listen, I'm trying. I want to know, right? <laughs> nah, just a little bit. Like you know, you shake a little bit, hit a couple in the air, and then and then you're good. You know. Okay. So so we're talking less than ten. We're talking yeah, 10 less to than 30. ten. Less than ten. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm talking like five to eight. Yeah. Just like a few hits. All right. So I I don't shadow box to get pumped up for games, but okay. I feel like. Less than 10 wouldn't even get me in the real pumped up mood. I feel like I'd have to actually be. I mean, you know, it, it differs person to person. You, know? <laughs> you can go as long as you want. But anyways, right. game five. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you. We're here game five just having fun. And we've got my favorite civilization for the Viper, the Huns. Oof. And that will be fun to talk about oh, here. Also, oh, that could oh, be a oh, dead fill. Oh. What? Dead oh villager for Viper God. to start game five. In game five. That is not what you want to see. Of course, we did see Hart with some hiccups in Dark Age. Guys, Dark Age is hard, especially on 9 will start. Things are quick. Yeah, Even and the pros are making mistakes. And here. like you had the hill there, which gives the, yeah. the Rhino a benefit, but still something that shouldn't really happen at this level. Yeah. Obviously, a little bit of delay, trying to warm up the room or something, but I'll tell you what, that's a big loss right there. Viper is going to have less resources to work with. And honestly, yeah. I, I was in the, the Civ intro. I love Saracens against Huns. I think Saracens are a fantastic Civ there. Here's the... That's interesting. Oh, oh, he had no wood to make a palisade wall. Oh, oh of because Huns. of Huns. Because oh. you start with the 100. Yep, so you're saying you, you like the Civ, eh? You like the Civ. <laughs> hey. Dude, I do. You just, you know, got to learn to lure, lure your rhinos. Yeah, that's so interesting. Huns, on this game mode, you start with no wood. You actually start with, like, 70 wood. You need to yep. chop some for the lumber camp. Uh, to, 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 to be clear, some people, all the players here, yeah. can build a palisade wall or a house uh, to to like de-aggro and save the villager. It, it freaks out the rhino. Um, not for your average player, wouldn't suggest it. But uh, <laughs> so he couldn't go for house because of Huns. Yeah. And then he didn't have the wood. Yeah. yeah. It was three wood for a palace that didn't have it. Wow, that is pretty crazy. And then he'd have to drop it off. And well, it happened. Right? Yeah, yeah, it happened. It is what it is. We've seen Viper come back from from uh, worse situations. We've got a dock in the south for him. We've got Hart in the north with a dock. That I, I could envision. 
a nice little wall with those wood lines yeah, around yeah. Viper. <laughs> like, Player has been liking that. You just yeah. wall the corner, start the fish boom, and yeah. you, you have that guaranteed safety. At least it's a palisade wall, so nothing runs in. Yeah, yeah. Between those two forests would be perfect for Viper, and I think he should be playing towards something like that. You don't home map this if you're not ready to fish boom. Yep. You know the thing I think about when I think Hunts, I think of all the strong cavalry units. You have the the cav archers, you've got the Tarkins, you've got the knights. Um, Occasionally, long swords from certain players. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's crazy. Uh, hopefully, it's been long enough now. <laughs> um, but but no, on a serious note, like all those units can struggle greatly yeah. against camels. And mm -hmm. Saracens are possibly the greatest camel sieve. Now they always had good camels, but uh, they removed the zealotry upgrade, which you had to research out of a castle. Now they're just getting that HP for free. And 145 HP camels. It, in it's a no cast. joke. It's, yeah, it's insane. In my opinion, it makes the camel a well-rounded unit. Like it, now, it's insane versus calf, but it's like passable against other units yeah, because yeah. it's just so tanky. Uh, we are seeing hard through the wall, by the way. Like just walling towards the dock to keep it safe. No spears running in, killing your fish. I think that's a really good move. Yeah, I think we'll see every player do that at this point because you don't want to have to deal with that nonsense of, of someone going back there. My expectation here would be a scout build. Players are pretty far apart from each other. I think an archer opening would surprise me due to that. But as always, eventually could see that, that change into something else. If the game gets messy, and um, is, you know that, that could be the case on this map because you've got so many different areas of the map we haven't even really discussed. Mm. Uh, advantage hunts, right? But if the game is clean and it's smooth and there's walls and whatnot, you know, the Sif that gets houses and the Saracens and... Um, you know, in general, I think a Civ that can really have that good late game like Saracens, they're going to thrive. Yeah, and also in a messy game, like the market kind of bails you out of a lot of situations. Yeah. Also, really annoying for Hearts. He's walling up. <laughs> the scout got in just a little earlier. I think he needs to, like, set that up fast. He just, actually like, brought... Mind. Did he dock with two Vils originally, though? I think he brought a second Vil there. I think he did. I saw him coming a little later just thought, to finish it off. That's yeah. actually pretty insane. That's pretty smart. Heads up play from him. Sends a second Vil, guarantees the wall, now goes for a stable. So, like, Hunts are usually what we consider a Scout Rush Civ, but, like, Saracens, they can go Scouts into Camels, and that deals with a lot of what Hunts go Ooh, for. Oh, man, Scout. Underneath, that's two volleys that did no damage. Stormtroopers. <laughs> they don't hit <laughs> anything. <The> TCs. <laughs> okay, here's a question. Obviously, if there were to be a change, we may deal then with a month of, of bugs we don't want to deal with. But let's just say, magically, <laughs> magically we could we use a wand and yeah, fix yeah. that, and TCs would hit there. Would you want that, or are you kind of okay? Well, we just kind of. I think know, if the it. unit is under the TC, it should eat all the shots. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yep. You can't run under the TC, <laughs> like literally like, on it, uh, yeah. and you're not you're dodging okay. shots. Like, all right, that yeah, make I agree. sense. Yeah, I agree. Um, but like, I wouldn't want it to be like turbo accurate either. You know, just just a little bit more. No, no ballistic town centers. But yeah, yeah, I agree. Give the guy some glasses, you know. So Viper, whoever shooting. Viper didn't wall this, and now that yeah. scout goes directly there. It feels yeah, like Hart yeah. has really d thought well about this, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think fishing fish. ship will go down. Yeah. Uh, fire ship has to be added from Viper. You you never really want to add a fire ship for a scout. Yeah, and, uh, if you just do the math, like the palisade walls, that's like equal wood cost plus build time as a fire galley. But you're just saving that kickback on the gold. Yeah, and it protects you more than just a fire galley. I, I feel like Viper is not in a good position here. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I think Hart again is just playing like an animal. He's playing extremely clean, and th this is against a player who won three out of the four NACs. Viper won NAC one through three. He was top four in the previous NAC, and he's, he's in the conversation to win everything he plays. Yep. Hart, this is the first 1v1 LAN event he's ever qualified for. This is incredible, and regardless of how this game, who wins this game cannot be understated how amazing Hart is playing right yeah, now. Yeah, I love how you put that. Some respect on Hart's name. Coming up big, and like Hart's the kind of guy. He was really big back in the day. You know, very, very high level. Took some time off and came back to an even higher level. Yeah, that's, yeah, he did. That's, that takes a lot of mental strength. You know, he pushed back through some bad results, and uh, and he's he's you know re really done done well for himself. Yeah, he has. Honest. And and right now he's got a four economic lead. He's collected a couple hundred more resources. None of this is enough to swing the game right now, of course. And we're still likely head towards the castle age, but. Uh, yeah, eleven hearts play right now. Like, there's no, you're the not walls. seeing the nerves. Right? That's the you're walls. not seeing the nerves. You're yep, not seeing true. shakiness. This is a player like this could be a practice set against a player he's beaten seven out of the last ten times for all we know in terms of how he's choosing to make decisions. When you're when you're worried, you you overmake army, you undermake army, you 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 mistime things because you're trying to to rush it. But 
It's just so well calculated the way he reads the game and what we're seeing right now. Yeah, and this is not his home map. So in theory, he wasn't going into this prepared to play specifically this map. Obviously, players are well practiced on all maps. It's the top 10, let's be real here. But this is still Viper's home map. And I feel like Hart has played a better African read, read game than Viper so far. Yep. Yeah, so far being the operative word, Viper needs to save that archer. And he will, and that will actually make the job for Hart a little bit difficult if his walls aren't completed. And those three scouts, they didn't hit the fish, but they're still annoying. They're still hitting. I, I would maybe send my scouts back to deal yeah, with those. Yeah, he actually, interestingly enough, has a very weak palisade now. Yeah. And he doesn't have a vill to repair true, or true. build behind. So Viper could maybe get through. Not a bad engagement there from Viper. Viper still being a pain with those scouts. And Hart actually taking a vill to the north there. He, he just off screen because yeah. he wants to repair that. Because that point's wow. going to be important. I think he might consider uh, some fish traps in the near future. So. I think he wants to. He just can't afford it. But like he should, yeah, he should definitely start fish trapping here. But it feels like Viper's not giving him time to fish trap. He's saving the archers and the scouts. Viper and, just uh, realized he's he's fully walled. Yeah, it's possible Viper knew this, but uh, lots of armies on the move from Viper. All right. So the thing with Huns, and I also think Kamur in this category because yeah. Kamur can hop inside the houses. It's like players feel like. I could play open, or I should play open. Yeah. And so even though, like, Huns can't house wall, it then gets compounded because players say, well, I just won't wall at all. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. But it's really it's really interesting. But you're seeing the benefit here because Viper's able to focus so much more on the attack, save some oh. resources, get some kills. At heart, he's got weak villagers here. His, it's kind of falling apart Loki here. Loki feels like he's choking. This, is the, this actually feels really weird. Gets the market down, but he lost like three, four skirms. He needs to just make it easy on himself. Bring the scouts back. Deal with those two scouts in your base. I mean, they're basically a mosquito. Comes in and comes out. <laughs> just always does damage to you. You got to deal with those, and then you can tackle the army on the front here. Because archers and scouts, they can break. They can break. That could have been bad. Yeah, he yeah. could have lost those four vills there. Mm. That could have been worse. Great job from him, though. Right now, it doesn't look good for Hart in terms of res uh, in the bank. It's looking much better for Viper. Viper's going to click up. Wow. And Viper might actually be through there. This is still a pain. Yeah, yeah. And I think Hart was like caught up in like the fish boom, and he kind of underproduced army. He needs to deal with that and then get the wall behind as well. Yeah, okay, he finally can at least place a market there. But, oh, but, 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 oh, the villagers oh. aren't there. The villagers aren't there. He can Viper it, he get it, through? He gets it, he gets it, he gets it. He gets it, he gets it. He gets it. Yep. yeah. Never that a was doubt. Close, though. Never a doubt. That was close. Uh, maybe use the market now to click up because you don't want to be too far behind. Use the other market. <laughs> <laughs> the other not, one. Not the, the one that's that built. <laughs> <laughs> don't use the one we're just making now. Oh, this is so rough for Hart, man. Viper's just got the perfect timing with the army. The scouts that were inside mm -hmm. did so much So here. much, so much. And oh, Hart still hasn't clicked up. And again, it's like Viper just, he just finds a way, dude. I mean, he, he played super sharp. Like, despite whatever happened in the early game, he played super sharp Feudal Age onwards here to put that pressure and, and cause a lot of damage yep. in Hearts' economy. Now he does use the market, clicks up to the next age. Viper's up, uh, what is it, like two minutes, minute and a half faster? That's substantial. And the, th and the third range is going up. He's fully open. He's full army. This is Huns, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, is what they're Huns. good at. Let's go. I, I love to see it. We're going to see market number three, I'm sure, yeah. in a second. Those and, are cheap. And they're cheap. They're 75 wood, so, I mean, hey, it's not too bad. Can you imagine how much competitive Age of Empires 2 would change if they took one tile <laughs> off the market? Yeah. And, I mean, and like the university? <laughs> it would be, it it would would be, be insane. completely different. 4x4 four yep. four buildings are super valuable, especially in the Feudal Age. If you put a 4x4 four four market, Archer has five range. You have a palace in front of the market. That's yep. five tiles. Yep. Covers the, the archers. Wow. Well, we'll see what Viper chooses to do because it does feel like long term could have some problems. It's been a long time since we've seen Hart with anything in Viper's base. And, you know, we said it's the hope that kills you. Yeah, yeah. I and was thinking I think, about that. I think for Hart, he makes it to game five. He then doing pretty well. And yeah, then he, yeah. That was shaky there. But, but again, Viper produced those moments, right? He, he produced that level of chaos. And you make your own luck, honestly. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is not a map that's like that easy to wall, right? So Viper's been able to poke and prod. And we've got a tower a here. A tower? I would have. I, I was expecting two markets yeah. to, to try and wall that up, but Hart really concerned here. That is not a great sign for his long term. Uh, uh, is that tower going up as well? I feel like maybe not.
Oh, no, this is bad. He'll pull a couple vills to the side, back and forth, maybe? Maybe. Oh, he gets it. Yeah, yeah. well played. Good, good job from Viper Viper as well. can sit underneath, though. Yeah, he, he, oh, he didn't kill a single vill, though. Oh, wow. Th wait, this could be bad for Viper, though. He didn't kill a single vill, and now the scrims are coming. Ooh. Wait, th that could be really bad, actually. And then if Viper runs away, he's going to get hit by the tower. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Viper has to run away. Oh. And, ooh, not bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that's actually low-key a good play from Hart. I, I don't think... Oh, my. That was sick. <laughs> I don't think that was planned. Three markets, start the trade. We got three <laughs> markets. That's crazy. There's a market in the corner. There's neutral markets. I, I do wonder, though, like Viper. Oh, uh, I don't know if they fixed the, the bug, the, uh, the trade bug. They did. They did. Okay, there's no bug. Never mind. <clears throat> we could see trade. <laughs> the, the, the other room screen. <laughs> <they did. laughs> um, but I don't think Viper's going to be that upset. It was, what, like seven crossbows went down. Yeah, yeah. Forced a tower. Yes, Saracens, of course, can buy it back. But Viper's on three TCs now, yeah, which is, it, how many fish traps does Viper have? He should have like four, right? No, oh, idle. Uh, so he wants the TCs first and then he starts fishing. So Hart has the fish, but doesn't have the three TCs. So the game looks really even from what yep. I'm seeing. Maybe slight advantage Viper. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned on like the eco side of things for Hart um, long term in terms of balance and, and income, but with the market you can afford a lot. Would make sense uh, to, to maybe add some Siege if you're Viper, but against just two Skirms, you're going to be able to take that fight. Yeah, yeah. You, you can kind of pick and choose what you want. Like if, if the fight's not good, just run away, and that should be good. You could also run in if you want to. Go for some big plays here. Uh, not Viper's Risk style. He usually likes to play a little bit safer. Let's take some good trades, though. I think Viper is more than happy with those trades. Yep. Okay, so another thing that needs to be pointed out we haven't talked about. The stone in the middle, there's lots of stone in the middle area, and then on the sides on those hills is where all the long-term gold is. Yep. So we will see players prioritize those pretty massively. Of course, relics and, the, and then the trade, but I, I feel like it's pretty unlikely we'll see the trade. Very risky. Um, but, yeah, it, it's something you've got to think about if you're a player here. When you get a lead, do you want to use that lead to pressure the opponent's base, or do you want to extend your lead by protecting the stones and golds? Yeah, true, true. And, and, and like... Playing for the map gives you a lot of long-term potential, but like playing to attack your opponent could end the game on the spot. So yep. there's a yep. lot of decision making there. Uh, Hart picks up a bunch of economy upgrades, keep himself competitive there. Uh, it, the game is super close, but Viper's pulling ahead in terms of military right now in the field. He's got a lot more cav archers, a lot more presence, and I feel like, especially if we talk about the map control and the golden stones, that feels that feels pretty nice. I don't know if you can actually build one in the middle. But a Siege Workshop in the middle for Viper, it's going to be tough now with the Skirms there. Yeah. Would have been really nice because Skirms are slow. You know, when, once Siege comes into the picture, you need to combine something else with the Skirms. And right now, Hart's not really in a position to do that. Yeah. But Viper also could simply just avoid said Skirms. Mm -hmm. And uh, Skirm counterattack's not really something that, that usually is going to bring that much success. Yeah, like if Hart oversteps to the Skirms, he can easily get chased away by a couple of knights. Viper just starts queuing one now. So, yeah. You know, I think right now, Viper's in complete control of the situation. Viper's even stitching into second stable, so clearly wants to go a little bit further uh, into the castle each play. Uh, Hark could switch into Camels, though. Camels doing okay against CA. Pretty good against Knights. Okay. What about, like, two stable Knights with CA with Ballistics? Yeah, I mean, that's is solid. That, is that good? That's yeah, like, solid, it, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it can be good, but, but you know, the Camels are always the, the concern. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you have enough CA... It is Saracen Camels, 145 HP, but... The way I see it is, like, if the CA can kill the Camel before the Camel can get too many hits off, then, like, the then Camel, it's, it's, it's squishy. Yeah, yep. it's not the tankiest unit. So, it, you know, the Camel could get on top and get some big trades, but the CA can also take them out. Whoa. I'm not sure what Viper was doing there. And the unit oh. regrouping, the unit oh, regrouping yeah, as Viper clicks awkward. away makes it awkward, but he doesn't, he doesn't take any more hits there. Yeah, the patch is not exactly the best for sharp movements. Um, a lot of weird weird re regrouping yep, yep, yep. tends to happen right now. Second talk. So Hearts the one fish booming? Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Is this the same player? He doesn't post them on YouTube, eh? but they, he knows how to fish boom as well. Did they swap names and face cams here? <laughs> Viper, puny, puny fish boom. Four fishing ships. Yeah. He, he brings shame upon the black force community, I think. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. Ballas yeah. is not happy seeing that. Yeah, I will say, though, you know, things really start to flow at this point with the Huns. Resources are spiking. Your CA were super cheap this whole time. You're not building any houses. You're not hitting any pop locks. And you're starting to see more knights from Viper. Question then will be, will we see armor? Like, d how heavily does he want to commit here? Because you could alternatively save the food and the gold from going all-in knights, mm -hmm. like I suggested, and just go up to Imp 
where you then could get more cav archer upgrades. Yeah. It's a really tricky decision, honestly. Y you have so many options, and especially on this map, y you want to go all in castle, potentially, to get control of the stone and the gold. But then again, if you go all in castle and you get shrepped down because the guy's an imp, it yep. could be tricky. Yep. So there's so many so many decisions, so many factors to consider here. Ballistics, though, that's a key upgrade. I think that's definitely something you prioritize right now. Hart is making a small switch into camo. I don't know how committed he is. Does he have a few right now in the field? Yeah, I mean, he's probably thinking what we're thinking. He saw the Knights a couple moments ago, so now he's going for him. I like the Gil Nets. It does help with the efficiency of the fish. Yep. But Viper, he's adding that next stable. So this tells us if he's adding it now, we'll see more Knights. I also feel like against Skirms, as long as you have Bloodlines and first armor, you're kind of okay. Like yeah. maybe just numbers is the key there. Um, obviously, though, if you can make Knights and whatever else and still get the armor, the, the second armor, you want to do it. Mm -hmm. And a lot should be possible with Viper's Eco. I feel like Wheelbarrow, though, being missing... Oh, I actually just clicked it, but yeah, yeah. That, that was, like, <laughs> the main concern with 44 Farmers. But really, I mean, what a game, dude. Like, the best series of the first day, the the final series, and it's, like, a crazy story. Three-time NAC champion up against the player who's qualified for his first NAC. Yeah, yeah. This is, like, the set you expect to be a 3-0 when you start the day. Yep. But Hart is, is really giving Viper a run for his money. And honestly, you could make the argument that Hart is in a better position. Saracen late game, yeah, like it's a counter to Huns in, in a way. Huns can obviously still win, but the, the, the you know the heavy camo with 170 HP is no joke. This game is also the best game of all of them in terms of closeness. I yeah, think, yeah, it's I super think. close. Yeah, because like you know the other games is like okay, Viper has the lead in his wins. Hart gets the lead early. I feel I like mean, we're saying this, but like one fight and the game is over. Like, <laughs> true. Potentially, you know? <laughs> true. But in terms of population, right? Yeah, in terms of population, both economic and military. Viper's heavily committed to Castle Age, but Hart can actually drop down a castle, but the skirms are in a weird spot. Hope for no regrouping for the sake of uh, the integrity of the event. <laughs> uh, the skirms do make it out here. Now we see bloodlines and armor. Those camels were naked on upgrades. First upgrades coming in right now, and Hart can do a castle at home in the middle on the side. He's got a lot of flexibility. Viper makes it on the left, though. Yeah, I, I still would love Siege right there in that middle area. It's hard to move, dude. You got these yep. little choke points, potential regroup issues. Like, I really think a Manganel or two could do well. Even attack grounds against camels could be helpful. It, it takes a sizable chunk of HP off. That is a Viper castle. If I've ever seen one, he figures there's nothing out there. It's on there. a hill. It's on a hill. <laughs> We're good. I know where his army is. But I think we're going to see Hart come to this side now. Oh, th this is Loki really good from Viper, though. He went castle left side, realized it's good, sent all his army to the right. Yeah. If he can castle left, secure that, and then secure this uh, this side on the right with his army. But now I think he's actually, huge. is he concerned right now that because he hasn't seen Hart's army, it could be coming through the middle? Uh, maybe. I, he does I, go back. Yeah, because I think, like, if you think about where he last saw Hart, Hart was in the middle advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, okay, I didn't see anything here. Now he's he's looking around. He's because you don't want to be fully out of position here. Yeah, yeah, it could be risky. Hart will secure the right side castle. So we're looking at a late game where one side has a gold, other side has a gold. Both are on like the prime composition. Yeah, this is what Huns do. And on the other side, Saracens with the camels. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. So let's just see how this plays out. Pop is so similar. 160, 160. Usually players go imp around this time or even earlier. But this time we're heavily committed because we want to fight for those minerals in the map. I'm I'm very concerned about all the openness of this area for Hart. He's got to get some units back here. He'll lose his monk. He lost a villager or two. He'll lose the camels. Population still insane. He's protecting that castle on the right. The right will right castle will oh. go up. Get some good hits Gotta here. Be careful. Art does not have ballistics, so as units retreat, he'll be missing the shots. These guys are so good. Both go up at the same time. <laughs> this is, this game so is good. incredible. This is going to be a fully popped Hunts yeah. vs. Saracens game. If it's fully popped Hunts Saracens, though, I always lean Saracens. Yeah, I think yeah. their camels are just so good. Uh, it, it's one of those things where, like, especially if you've got all the gold in the world, you can oh. just spam out the Saracens. Ooh! Viper goes oh. through the camels here! It actually isn't as bad as I thought it could be. They didn't get trapped, at least. Yeah, they're... No Oh, I didn't know there was a hole there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like about to lose my mind. You guys didn't see it, too. Oh. Did I lean forward? He oh. said, yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. But I'm not so sure Viper is good, actually. There's still so many camels. Viper will take an engagement maybe to clear out the skirms. Oh, this is this so tricky good for right Hart, now. but it's hard to say. Like, Hart beat all the melee units. Yep, yep. And now the skirms are still on the field. If Viper's raiding on the top, though, can we get a quick pan over from production there? Yeah, oh, he's in. no way, dude. He's in. So, okay, more camels are going to go there. In the end, it won't kill much. 
What a crazy game we have here. Oh my god. I think we'll see it all, Hera. I think we're gonna see uh, heavy camel. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna see like we, we might not see counterweights or atheism, but beyond that, we might see all the techs fly in, different unit types like Hussar. We could see how this game is gonna go late. Yeah, I wanna quickly talk about something. The unique unit, the Mamluk for Saracens, really, really good against both Cav Archers and against the Knights and Light Cav. It's just harder to mass it. So you we could see that late game, but for now, hearts more than you know, more than fine with just the camels. So Viper knows about that castle on the right, and so he's going to put heavy focus on that, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Like that castle is to protect his own eco, but also to be able to push hard. And the, the problem I see if you're this poor group of skirmishers, you're so freaking slow, yeah. right? So like Viper <laughs> can always run away. So you really, while, while the skirmishers could do well against the CA, it's really the camel numbers that force the fights. Oh. Oh, I, I always panic because if Viper's looking at his fist trap for 30 seconds there, yep. or even 10 seconds, he loses all his army. So the like, camels are super dangerous here, but obviously Viper backs out. Shout out to that here. Shout out, shout out to that Tarkin there who went in alone by himself. Yeah, That's killed crazy. a couple skirms. Viper now on the right side, and Viper's got so much army mobility right now. Yeah. And he's got a lot more army in queue. And again, this is, seems to be the issue, is, is when you're playing Camel Skirm, it seems like you're always reacting. You, mm -hmm. you can't force any main fights. You can't, you're not really seeing any raids. And this is Viper in full control. He's actually fully pop capped, so he can't make traps. Ooh, That's actually kind of a big deal. Yeah, yeah, he, he might want those traps out right now. Heart might do him a favor and kill some units. <laughs> Free up some population. <laughs> uh, plus four armor coming in for the Camels now. I want to see Heavy Camel right away. Uh -oh. oh, oh, Heart, bring the Camels back. Oh no, Viper's in too oh. many positions. Hart doesn't see it, and Viper sits in the right spot, and villagers are gonna go down. Now, that's big. It, he can potentially clear up these CA and still finish this castle, yeah. but Viper now will bring you know, more units here because that has directed his attention towards this. Yeah, but the Camel's about to be an all purpose unit right now. It's about to be the unit that counters Kills the CA everything, yeah. and counters the Hussar and as well. And there's 35 of them. I, this could be insane. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, unit wise, Hart is doing better, but the thing is, tempo wise, Viper's Viper, it's position. all Viper. Yeah. And Viper's got a lot of rest stacked up as well. I wonder if Viper can potentially distract the, you know, some of those camels in the base. There's so much to look at right now. Hart will go for the treb, not something that camels are that good at taking out. If this treb stays up, and oh, it will stay up, no. then it's a really big loss for Hart. You just go for it, bro. The last week camels ain't gonna do nothing. Um, cast on the center gets denied. It feels like Viper's taking really good trades. Ooh, level 22 hype train there. The gift sub emoji on the screen as well. Maybe level 25 and the NAC6 is coming, guys. I'll, I'll ask Nudley, I'll ask Nudley. Are we, are we surprised no help from Viper? I think he wants to do it, but he just can't prioritize it because what's winning in the game is the mobility right yep, now, right? Yep, that makes sense. Yep. But, but, but Halbs could always come out. They're not the best for hunts. What a but, timing for the heavy cav archer upgrade. Right about now, but the right when the fight's going to happen. There's oh, the camels. Oh, huge. The camels are in the skirms as well. Do you set the trebs? You go for the army. You got to decide right now. He goes for the army, and Viper, oh. just, Viper just runs away. Yeah, the trebs are for the taking there. The trebs are for the taking. I think he was looking somewhere else. The castle's going to fall. Oh, because he didn't take the trebs in time. Oh, man, that hurts for hard, and he cannot engage against that big yeah. mass of CA for, the, for how big the mass is of camels. It's a bigger mass of cab archers, 40 of them on the field. And I love how oh, Viper castle. is, is going to continue to focus here. Instead yeah. of switching anywhere else, obviously with all that gold, this is where he needs to force the issue. Yeah, another castle here. Uh, camels are really strong, but you don't have a lot of them. Again, they are squishy, so they, they will die. Um, skirms, low number right now. I would like to see Hart just engage with 200 pop. Don't really fight before it, but he's low on gold. Yeah, this is, this is tricky right now. Camels, for as exciting as they are, they are expensive. It costs a lot of gold, yep. and that is the gold area right now. And Viper is, is not really putting any of his focus anywhere else. His Cav Archer number is still so high. He's collected so many more resources now, and it feels like with Halb in front, you're going to need more skirms than if you're Heart. And it's just, he just doesn't seem to have enough right now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's missing 30 pop. Like, he's not a 200 pop right now. Viper's always fighting at 200 pop. Yep. Heart's missing some, some units here, and I feel like... Maybe you have to give up some ground, but you can't give up too much because that's the, you're fighting for the gold. Yep. Oh, this is so tricky. This is so, so tricky. Yeah, Viper can take this hill, and he's saving stone for it to maybe build a castle. Viper will likely win this game and win this series. It's been an amazing series. Here comes Viper advancing up the hill. Has Halbs in the mix. Hart's trying to focus them down with the skirm. Yeah. But again, the skirm mass is not big enough. Oh, and those man. Halbs are going to get hits, and Hart might feel like he doesn't have anything left in the tank here. What a crazy, crazy series. 
And you can tell when Viper's fighting uphill without like, yeah. any uncertainty that he knows this fight is his. Yeah, yeah he, he really wants to win this. Really well played from Viper. With like the B here comp, in theory, it felt like he was in control the whole time. Used the tempo to his advantage, raided left, right, and center. And now it's nothing for Hart. And it's all for Viper. The gold is going to get denied, and Hart is in panic mode. Everything goes back. Oh, and man. How dude. do you stop this now? How do yeah. you stop it? And you got, what, 30 vills there? So of your vill count currently, 30 of them are running to yeah. a new task, and that task is not gold. Zero on gold, yeah. which means he's fully reliant on skirms, and Viper's going to have the answer to that. And this might be it for Hart. He's going to fight. He's them coming in for Viper as well. <laughs> Turn that two relic into one. Does the noise still play? I don't think so, no. I'm kind of disappointed. That was always like a little like, oh, yeah, I just atheism do you, you know? <laughs> yeah, but at this point, Viper has, is such a plethora of resources. Like, he, he might as well get like, some other techs now as well, right? Get Marauders, mix a couple silent but deadly Tarkins yeah, in the yeah. eco. Like, he, he's got 2,000 gold in the bank. Yep. He's got like 4,000 resources it banked right now. Yeah. 1,000 for Hart. And Hart also... It's kind of, he doesn't have the highest unit queue. That's said Viper doesn't either right now. But I think this is like a stabilized moment from Viper. We saw yeah. we saw this from you uh, in your earlier set where like, you can push, you can kill someone right then, but you could overextend. Mm -hmm. So you make sure your castles go up, you make sure you're kind of, you understand where you need to protect, and then you kind of move out beyond yeah. that. Yeah, because I, I know it's late, but Viper can play another three hours with all the gold he's got. Heart, he's got like five minutes in the tank. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's got gold for this one fight. If he loses those camos, they're not coming back unless he takes back the gold. There, there is just, something beautiful. There is something beautiful about Viper researching atheism when his opponent's gold income is only the relics. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, that's true. It's, <laughs> like, it's like, I already took your gold, but now with this tech, you're getting, what, 33%, 50% less from the 50%, relics? 50%, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is kind of brutal. funny. Oh man, and Viper's now, now that he has his castles up, yeah, he's yeah. gonna shift his focus. And honestly, when you consider Halibus in the mix, I feel like the hunt comp is actually Maybe not, it not is. worse. Yeah, yeah I think it's better. Yeah, because um, yeah, like the camels are so fragile yeah, against yeah. the Halibs and also... And, and the, the mix is just like everything you have, it, you know, it just all in one spot. Like Hassar, Halb, CA, it just, it, it meshes so well together. Some raids coming in from Hearts. Probably too little, too late, though. You just can't raid someone who's got gold control like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you lose 20 villagers on a wood line, you're going to be okay here if you're Viper. That was the one spot, though, pretty much, it seems, that Viper's vulnerable. So that's going to add yeah. up. Hussar's there. Again, Tarkins, they don't thump anymore here. They used to have a thump. Uh, you always talk about this. I, I want the freaking thump, dude, but... Uh, <laughs> Someone get this guy to thump. <laughs> the, the, I, I, my goal is for them to just do it, to shut me up at a certain point. But <laughs> Hard calls GG oh, here. Oh, man. What wow, a great yeah. series. Round of applause deserved here yeah. in the gaming house for that one. Can we get a clap in the chat as well, guys? The GG well played that was sick. to both the players. A clap, some emotes, whatever it is, because well played to both Hearts and Viper here. Viper takes the win. You guys can hear the clapping in the back, maybe. Well done there. Uh, Viper takes the win, 3-2. Hearts, I feel like he comes out a little bit of a winner there as well. Yeah, in some ways. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And the, again, the way the format works, getting two wins off of Viper, if Viper does very well, will be mm -hmm. good for him. You, you get two wins off of Viper, it boosts your confidence. And that confidence is going to go a long way this whole week. Mm -hmm. um, I, it was a pleasure to cast that one here. It was a good series back and forth. I actually think both players will benefit from this series in terms of learning. Yeah, yeah. 